white guilt windows. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's like, it's strange that when I register my copy, it asks for my, my race and gender. It's really <laughs> bizarre. <laughs> and my sexual orientation. Yeah. <laughs> and how much money I make per year. <laughs> and whether or not you believe the gauge, the wage gap. <laughs> this is a very the strange gauge web. The, the gauge, gauge web. web. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you believe that it's an inaccurate uh, portrayal of the numbers uh, and mis misunderstanding of the way math works? Well, you're sexist. Part of it is that riskier jobs do pay more, and it skews the numbers. Mm -hmm. Well, it's also, it doesn't take into account, like, the amount of hours worked. It's mm -hmm. just, like, it's just, like, the amount of pay men and women get not it doesn't take into account hours is there still some yeah like is there still some sexist bullshit yes but i mean i i work with about 120 cable technicians they're all dudes dude mm -hmm. well every I'm, single one i'm fairly certain not a lot of women are applying to that job right but no there i remember as a as a kid there was one time that there was actually a I had a female technician come over and she was like working on the cable when I was a kid, and I was like super amazed by that. Mm -hmm. I mean, thinking about her now, she kind of looked like a lesbian, but <laughs> like she had like a really she had like a really burly build. But uh, but yeah, I mean, it was a female technician, so that was kind of cool. Mm -hmm. I mean, they're out there. It's just there's just not a whole lot of them. Mm -hmm. That doesn't, for whatever reason women just aren't inclined to pick up that job. Well, it's because you're supposed to be able to lift 75 pounds. Yeah. Who are we waiting on? Christian. Uh, Christian and the Mexican. I forget your name. <laughs> Christian is the Mexican. You're EK? What? Whoa, dude. What the fuck? <laughs> 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 and the Mexican. I mean, I guess he's technically not wrong. No, don't don't correct still. him. It's fine. Don't don't worry. About it. <laughs> <laughs> it's what like isn't it nice that you're the Mexican, but Christian isn't? That makes no, you special. It does not. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's like... Oh, it's so funny to me. <laughs> <laughs> Probably because it's just oh, completely unwarranted oh, racism. I'll be right back. Well, sure. I don't think so, he knows, but I'm also Mexican, so that that's probably why he's having a fun time listening. What I'm trying to figure out... Oh, did, can you send me the stats to that, that sword thing again? So I can put it in the sheet, so you don't um, forget it. Yeah. So it functions as a standard, as a as a standard glaive for right now. Mm -hmm. If you're buried in a corpse for eight hours, it's a plus one. Once it reaches its its kill limit and the apparitions are released, it becomes a plus three. Oh, BT dubs. I I re-rolled it so that I start off with a rapier. That was gonna be like a quest today, man. I got too bad. He 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 re-rolled because he's legally allowed to. I'm not even level three yet. I I thought of that. I was like, what maybe type of, would... uh, weapon was that? <laughs> glaive. 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 Is it a plus one or plus two? Plus three? It's just a regular glaive. It's just a standard. Until you bury it with somebody for eight hours, I then technically it... did. Then it's it'll it'll count as a plus one until the next long rest. Mm -hmm. Where is if you manage to carry a corpse around with you for every long rest, then it'll permanently be plus one. Why couldn't it be an insect glaive, huh? That's not how it works. <laughs> I would have totally needed on it. How many calories would you say in a large pizza? Uh, a lot. <laughs> a lot. <laughs> Shit. I 
I mean, you can just Google it. It'll tell you. Oh, God damn it. I just ate like a whole pizza by myself. Yeah. <sighs> that goes my calories for the next week. You're just going to starve yourself the entire week now. Yeah. There was actually a dude that starved himself like that in the 50s or 60s. He was like 500 something pounds and he went to like a hospital where he's like, guys, I'm going to starve myself. And they're like, don't do that. And he's like, yeah, I'm going to do it. So if you want to, you know, find out what happens, just watch me or something. <laughs> and then they basically just observed him. Wow. He, he, he dropped to like 284, having only like multivitamins for like a couple months. And somehow there were no other adverse effects, at least according to 50s doctors. <laughs> And that's the that's the secret to rapid weight loss. So drive yourself with multivitamins. Oh, I missed the secret to rapid weight loss. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now I'll never. Now I'll never lose weight ever. Now you'll never be a real boy. It's impossible to lose weight otherwise. Huh? Oh yeah, so it's around uh, two thousand something calories. For a whole pizza. Uh, well, Only? I didn't eat anything else today, so that's... Uh, that's... probably more, because this is like a... It's just like a 14 inch. I think well, this is it's from Marco's Pizza. Yeah, I don't know how, how wide of a pizza that is. It needs more. Uh, more calories. It is... Actually, it's probably about a foot wide, so it's time to, time to get out the measuring tape. That doesn't count my cheesy bread or the two liter. So. Oh, oh, yeah, so... Calories well is a over. measure of flavor, right? You're well over 2,000. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's why lettuce has none. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> You've had a large man's whole day's worth of calories. In well, one I, didn't, I didn't eat anything else today. So in one sitting. I am a large man. I mean, that's still <laughs> not good for you, man. No. no. It's, not. it's not. I was just very hungry. Did Nick just take? Is that uh, Nico's no. last name? Hungi. Or no, Yaz Yazo, right? Yeah. Yazawa, yeah. Yazo. Oh, what the yeah, fuck is Yazawa, Nico's last yeah. name? Is Yazawa. Yes. The same with the Y right. with the fuck. Yes. God damn it, Nick. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was saying. I'm like, I'm like, I see what you did there. Also, Gary. It's also, like a mixture that shouldn't happen. So why is this that color? Uh, that AKA cuck. Uh, I don't know. That's just the way it is. I don't know who put that there, so I trash them. Okay. Oh, so we're ready good. we're gonna just get started. So yeah. uh oh, real quick, so I wanted to add a fun house rule. Uh -huh. If you roll a Nat 20, you can risk it all and roll another twenty. If you roll two d20s, it's an instant kill. It doesn't matter if it's an endgame boss. It's just <laughs> instantly done. But if you roll a one on that second roll, your crit is canceled out and it's just a regular hit. All right. Okay. What if it's so anything it's, other than a 20 have, or a one? A yeah. Then it's just a regular a standard crit. I have a strategy. Okay. If you roll a 20, uh, leave it as this. Just yeah. press R once and most likely to get another 20. <laughs> you just select it so it looks like it went up in the air. <laughs> you just drop oh, it down. Mm -hmm. I was like, oh no, look, I rolled a one. That's oh. why and that's why you you almost always push R more than once. Yep. Mm -hmm. So it gets some air time. Yep. So although I don't even trust that. I I like throw it across the table. It's just I figured it's a it's a what one in four hundred chance. It's a point two five percent chance. I figure we can just add the mix. But can we add like any modifiers to that second roll? No, you cannot. It's standard twenty luck roll. Hmm. But can we? But what if we have that. advantage on it? Why are there so many dies here? That's David's die over there. I didn't do it. I don't know why he has so many. I've been making a lot of rolls in the background. Equals 93! Why, why, why would that many die though? 82! It's easier to keep certain groups together. I guess. 88! 
Why don't you just roll like five d20s? All right, get a, so to get a number between one and one hundred. We we stumble our way out of the the Because portal. that'd be between five and that. Yes, yeah, so you you stumble out of the portal, and you emerge back into the small library in the warehouse. The fire still goes on in the. I thought, in the I thought it was corner. like turned off though, because we tried to like take it. But where's he? No, it didn't. It it wouldn't light your torch, is what. All oh, right, right. Yeah, it wouldn't light your torch, but it stayed lit. Mm -hmm. Oops, it stayed lit. Um, and so you still see that off in the corner. Other than that, the room appears quiet. You hear some noises off in the in the other room. And we should, other room, we should okay. investigate that. Didn't we already kill everyone in that room? Yeah, but it's been like some time. I guess. We don't know how long we've been gone. And we don't even know if time if time uh, acts the the way it does in the mm -hmm. library. It's been about an hour. We'll say an hour or so. Oh. Golly gee, that was a lot of adventures and misadventure tales you told me, you guys. <laughs> Seriously, where's the bathroom? Uh, I mean, uh, any, anywhere you want. The, this isn't our the place. Corners, the corner's right there. We, this isn't our. I, I suggest pissing in that fire. It's kind of cool. Yeah, yeah. I, I like to see that too. <laughs> in these what? lands, they do not have proper facilities. So, pick the nearest pot you can find. All right, yeah. let me just go over here and uh. Okay. I proceed to take a leak on. There, see, look, it's, on it's a golden, it's a golden shower. Uh huh. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's taking a leak in the fire. What happens? <laughs> so as he takes a leak into the fire, it slowly begins to hiss. But then you realize that the piss actually stops touching the fire, and it begins to float upwards. <laughs> as, a, as, as a reminder, when you guys rested. Uh, we rested? You, yeah, yeah, we did. Yeah, yeah, when you took that short rest at the fire. Oh, we yeah. And then, the oh, and then Nick disappeared. Mm -hmm. So, it appears that this fire has properties that make you lighter. And your piss. You guys? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think I found something. Oh, we've already investigated that fire. Why is your piss floating? <laughs> <laughs> you ask me these questions I cannot answer. <laughs> I say we investigate the noises we heard. Yeah, oh, slept. Do why that. not? Cool. Devrin says yes. as he chomps down on his dried mutton. <laughs> Where'd you get right. mutton? So I have I have a great axe. So I'll equip that because I put the glaive inside of the ashes of that the dragon sack. thing. Yeah, the yeah. sack full of dragon ashes. Okay. If I recall right, it's usually no, it's for eight hours. Doesn't matter when, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, no. never mind. Just has Over to be eight that. hours. Yeah, eight hours. Which is right. one long rest. Yeah, so it'll be ready in eight hours. Yeah, so let me just move my body away from my floating piss. <laughs> uh -huh. Yep. It was yellow, so I'm a little dehydrated, guys. But whatever. <laughs> oh well, they happen to have something to help. <laughs> oh yes, yes. Do you, does anybody <laughs> have a flask? We don't. We you can just drink straight bottle. from it. Yeah, just set it to. Geyser no, I'm not mode. sure if you can. I think you have to make the call thing. But... Just set it to gushing geyser mode. And... Oh god. Yeah, it wasn't. Wasn't one of them like you could. You can... It was stream. It was geyser, and it was like trickle was like a a gallon. Stream was like five, and then geyser was like thirty. Yeah, man, this guy needs a geyser as well. <laughs> Remember, here, here. It's, it's basically a daily. But I mean, I, I, I hand, I hand Crom the flask, the decanter of endless water, and I told him just uh, hold up to your mouth and whisper to it. Geyser. Uh, scream. Geyser. So don't listen to them. Don't say geyser. Say geyser. I say geyser. <laughs> it not work because you're not holding it. Damn it. Yeah, just, just remember, geyser does bludgeoning damage to you. If you... Okay. The fact that you guys are all screaming geyser around something that I'm going to drink out of doesn't necessarily bode well for me. I'm just going to continue. I, hey, I if, to... If, if you don't want to drink, that's fine with me. Alrighty. I'm not too dehydrated. 
Well, except I should drink, <clears> seeing as how you, I was inside of a fire breathing dragon. I, I'm, I'm you, telling you, hey, you're probably like pretty spirit. ashy, right? You're What's probably that? pretty ashy right now, dude. Are you sure? Are you sure you don't want to become more dehydrated? I got some booze. You can also drink salt water out of the decanter if you'd like. <laughs> I'm, I'm cool. I have faith. I have faith okay. in you guys. You okay. okay. Wait, which oh, room are we hearing sounds enemies. from? Body so, room or where we came from? So as you start making your way back down the hall, you hear sounds, and you as you get closer, you realize it's it's whistling. You see whistling noises. Yeah, it's the janitor. You, yep. You look around the corner, and you see him using a a large uh, a large sweeping brush to just kind of shove the bodies into a single pile. He's, no, you got you got to put them into the furnace, obviously. Wait, 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 wait. So I am in character. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, I I wish to sneak up on the janitor. Okay. okay, roll for stealth. And all of us yeah, stare right. at him like, what are you doing? <laughs> yeah. The janitor's what? totally fine. Is it a, is it a D20? Is yeah. It a D20, right? Yeah, it'd be a D20. D20 with your, uh, um, rusty. With your uh, stealth uh, skill. Modifier. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I don't know, do you guys explain anything to him, or do you just kind of let this happen? Depends how fast he's doing this. We're just okay, kind of so. we're just kind of watching like with dumb fun like what's he doing? Because suddenly he just he just starts crouching. He's yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. What? Right. Okay, and he has fourteen, and at level two I had the modifier for sneaking that was plus four. Plus four. Okay, his perception. He's a kobold. He's a janitor, but I mean it's not that great. So you you do manage to start stepping towards him carefully. Ah. Uh... As you get closer, you realize he isn't actually armed with any weapons, and he's he's shoveling a pile of bodies of fellow kobolds into a, into a into one of the corners. All right, I roll to sneak up behind him and lick his inner earlobe. <laughs> <laughs> what? Okay, we're gonna roll another stealth for you because that's I yeah, mean, that's another you gotta stealth. be really close. I know that. that's why I'm I'm rerolling. Go for it. That is twenty-three. <laughs> <laughs> I got plus four. Oh yeah. God. Okay. So you crouch down to his small size and just sneakily he doesn't notice you're there until you're already at base level with his ear and he hears a slight breath from your orc nose. <laughs> <laughs> and then he feels this warm Slightly dehydrated tongue. <laughs> just dry meat. Just slap. <laughs> it makes a slapping sound. Although you were fun you were very sneaky trying to sneak up towards him, your tongue dexterity is lacking and it just smacks the side of his tongue. Uh, I Instead of his tongue. tongue. <laughs> <laughs> you start taking out. <laughs> He kind of freezes in place and then just slowly turns towards you with a with an apathetic look. All right. And resumes his duty. <laughs> okay. Hello. That's how we say hello in Cromland. My name's Crom. I come from Crom. How you doing? Son of Crom. <laughs> Son of Crom. <laughs> Not do this again. <laughs> you say don't do this again. Brother of Crom. <laughs> so what does the kobold say? Husband to Crumb. <laughs> the, the kobold turns towards the rest of the group and says, So I see you managed to find this bastard. I I, I told the kobold, you mean you know him? It's like, I, I saw him enter, and I didn't really seem to... I didn't stop him, but I, I can't say that I missed him. No one stops Crumb. Except for bad tummy aches and deities and the wife. But the <laughs> also <laughs> called Crom. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So he keeps he he resumes his duties and he just kind of asks like, so what did you guys find in there besides this asshole? Uh, uh, no, nothing much. Some books. Please. We found a dragon that the librarian summoned because this asshole. I did nothing wrong. So you, you should you should know about this librarian. Yeah, although she mostly keeps to herself. 
Hmm, interesting. I'm kind, of, I'm kind of surprised you guys ran into the dragon. Usually only the kobolds do that. <laughs> you have a thieving problem among your workforce? They, they're curious. They, they don't really understand consequences, though. So what? You, so what I'm getting from this is the, the this warehouse corporation actually no knew about this magical library that's within it. I mean, they did yeah. set up a pedestal for it. Hmm, interesting. Yeah, and a talking Ooh. painting that explains how to use it. Did it? It's like, yeah, oh yeah, we we burned the painting. Oh yeah. He goes. I don't know who the janitor that. overhears that and goes, "Oh, I like that painting." Jim was fun. Yeah, I don't know who did that. What the fuck? Oh, well, well, it, well, it's been uh. <laughs> so on the lower floors, are they? Uh, did you check them yet? Who, who the gender? Yeah, cause, cause we heard like explosion and stuff and screaming from the lower floors. And uh, wait, I'm asking him, have you checked the lower floors uh, recently? Oh, you mean with all the the screaming? No, yes, I've yes. kind of I've kind of been taking my time here. I'm hoping someone else will pick up the slack. Screaming from the lower floors. Hey, <clears throat> I guess by someone else you mean us. I think we have other janitors, but now that I think about it, I'm not sure if I've seen them around anymore. I said well, this warrants an investigation. <clears throat> yeah, I think this this whole thing has been a long diversion from our original goal of of bringing Santana or and or this warehouse company to justice. <clears throat> All that we've learned from this is that Santana is just upset at this warehouse. And he likes money. It, it's his territory and it's and he wants money. But <clears throat> hmm. Okay. Well, if you if if you guys do get rid of the warehouse, just be sure to let me know. Okay, I'll take some sick time. <laughs> as much as much as I dislike the Santana, I think the the <clears throat> the okay. amount of upheaval. <laughs> Christian's <laughs> causing like singularities <laughs> in the table. Happening over there. <laughs> I think the. Uh, Sorry. I think the upheaval from from incurring Santana's wrath would be. Far worse for these uh, for these villagers than wow. What did you do? It is singularity to, now. Than simply trying to con convince the uh, warehouse to find new <clears throat> new grounds to stake. Mm hmm. This is true, but the other thing is we have no chance against Santana, nor do we have enough gold for this. Uh. I'd like to remind everyone that we didn't have to do anything we did. We just had to drop off the donkey and leave. We just had to get paid. This well, is also true. <clears throat> we're not even sure he was going to pay us. If you recall, we were pretty much only doing this to appease him. Well, either so way. He try to kill us for killing his mules. I'd call that payment. Getting to live. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I guess that's true. Either way, for once, I think I might agree with our warlock friend here. We should go confront Santana. Well, let's 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 just tell him the job's done and see what happens from there. I believe we should investigate the rest of this warehouse. This place this is, is too big. I'd like to at least see what's on the lowermost floors. There might be gold. It's probably treasure. just grease. <laughs> or horrible monsters. Or grease. Be or monsters covered in grease. <laughs> Or monsters covered in gold. Or gold covered in grease. <laughs> or greasy gold monsters. Grease covered in gold. Or gold monsters. <laughs> the, the bottom line is there, there could be treasure down below. Mm. <clears throat> grease treasure. Well, that tempts me. Let's get to it. I, you know, fine. I reach a consensus. Let's let's think, go I as think, fast as possible. Yeah, I was gonna say every. Every level we should take only the most cursory glance, and unless we see something out of the ordinary, then we'll stop to investigate. All right, I agree. Okay. <clears throat> we proceed to lower floors then. Okay. Yo, Crom, we're going. <laughs> stop <laughs> licking that cobalt. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, metal, metal gear. 
<laughs> you thought I was bad. So you I guys managed to make your way out. Your base. I'm gonna draw the shittiest oh, four you're here. Brown. Never mind. <laughs> okay, I'll change him to brown. There you go. Here's a shitty floor. Okay. So you begin to make your way down. Down. Uh, Walking mm -hmm. fast. Yeah, so I'll, well, you, you weren't here, so I'll, I'll redescribe it to you. you. So, wait, to be clear, did you take the crystal with you? Yeah, I did. Yeah, we did. Yes, we did. I have it. Yeah, Josh has it. Bongo. So, as it, so, what you see here is a... Uh... What you get? <laughs> sure. <laughs> God damn it. Enough smart ass time. <laughs> <laughs> now it's time to finish this fucking. All right, let's do it. I want to try to get more encounters like done three... too. We've been we've been doing this thing for like three three sessions now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I kind of want to try to get it done faster, and my goal is to get you guys like four to five encounters. Let's go. So as you begin to make your way down, it's it's a large warehouse where it's just a, a, what seems like a bottomless chasm. And as you begin to make your way down, the floors look identical and identical. You do still see kobolds uh, scouring the halls, and it looks like they're finding items and just chucking them over the edge. Um, something you didn't really quite notice on the upper floors, but it looks like they just toss things down in expectation of something. Yeah, it looks like a pit of grease, all right. So, as you get further and further down, you start to notice that you're seeing kobolds less and less often. And you finally reach a floor that looks almost like it's been abandoned. There are still steps leading down, but you don't see any shelves shelving anymore. It's just the rusted floors. Um, rusted floors, huh? And as you take a look at the chasm, you keep seeing objects tossed from floors above, falling down directly into the <clears throat> into the hole. And you notice that you don't, you still don't hear any impact. Do you keep going down? Hell yeah. Yes. Alright. I suppose so. So you begin to make your way further and further down, and you finally ah, run into ah. what looks like uh, a room going off to the side. And in you, you see text that looks like it's written in Draconian. I um, can read that. I can read that too. Okay. I guess I technically can. Since it's just one word, I'm not going to make you guys rule. So, so in Draconian, the word is security. Security. Uh, other than that, the, the the floor is mostly featureless like most of the other abandoned floors now. All right, let's get out of here. <laughs> do you keep going down or do you investigate? Can I investigate what's behind the security door? It's clearly security. <laughs> you gotta sneak. They sneak with him. Oh, they God. I'm right next to all my sneakers. Let's see. Let's see. What is my yeah. sneak skill? Straight up Nike. <clears throat> my stealth is plus three. Okay. Okay. What's well, so? Go ahead and roll your sneaks. Tell me the rolls. Oh. Uh, damn. It's, it's gonna be a group roll, isn't it? Hmm? Where's it'll my be, dice? It'll. I'll go individual. Seven but... plus three, ten. Twelve yeah. plus four, sixteen. All of my dice are gone. <laughs> Dude, where are your oh, dice? Yeah. Someone stole yeah. your dice. <laughs> no, we never made it. Oh, you dye. didn't. You can just use uh, Nyx for no, now. I'll make him some brown ones. Okay. What are they brown? Because you you chose the brown part there. <laughs> Do you want a different color? Do you want orange? Did, did someone say AKA come on my face? <laughs> <laughs> oh, what? All right. It's going to get confusing with mine. All right, so I lay on the ground and I make my way towards the security place, which is where? Is it over here? Yeah, this is like the opening right here. Oh, I see. Still rusted floors, still objects falling down into the pit. <clears throat> so do I roll for that or? Uh, roll for sneak, yeah. See what you get. They got ten and twelve. You can also. I got. I got sixteen. Well, I got I rolled twelve, but plus four. I'm the weakest link. Fourteen, but I got 14. plus four. Are we all rolling? Is that what's going on? Uh, well, the ones that chose to sneak. So as you three sneak around towards the uh, towards yeah. the door, you manage to crack it open, and as you open it up, you see that it is 
uh, kind of a medium-sized room. It has a couple training dummies. Oops. And what looks like a hallway leading further south in it. Um, in the room itself, you see about three cobalt, two training and one just kind of idling by. Did they, did they notice us? They do so, not notice you. Does, are they bad guys or are they good guys? Can I? Can you describe what the kobolds are? Are they, are they armed? So as you see, you see two that are working near the training dummies that are armed. One of them is working on a training dummy with a spear. The other one is working on its form with a with a sling. Uh, and the one on the in the back seems to be barking orders in draconian. Mm, hold on one second, people. Let me try doing this. I back off until I want to back off as well. Out of sight. <laughs> okay. the corner. Okay. I, I choose to cast Minor Illusion to mimic the voice of the janitor once again. Okay. And I call out to and I call out to the kobolds and say, uh, <clears throat> what what's happening over here? The the one that's uh, just been monitoring the other two goes, oh, hey, bro, not much, just training like usual. Nothing really seems to happen, but we gotta be ready. Uh, ready for what, though? Nothing, nothing ever happened in this warehouse. He kind of takes a moment to look up in the sky and goes, yeah. <laughs> you can so... realize these kobolds work together, but are pretty bored. Hmm. <clears throat> So like if uh if a bunch of like strangers just strolled up right now into your room, you'd be pretty upset at or try to kill them. Well, I think that's what we're paid to do. It'd be fun, but I think it's more fun to be on the the ground force that goes out with the packages. The packages, huh? Mhm. Mm so I work in the warehouse. I don't really do deliveries. So what do the what are, these, what are these ground forces do exactly? He's like, what are you talking about, bro? You've been here longer than all of us. Yeah, but I've Go never ahead. been working in the ground force. Go ahead and roll a <laughs> persuasion check real quick. Okay. No, not much, but just a... Just a one. So you don't critically fail? Yeah. <clears throat> you don't critically fail. 19 plus 5. Oh, yeah, you're fine. Which is 24. He's like, I guess you're right. You mostly just work in here. Yeah, how else do you think we get everything in and out? We definitely don't go above ground. <clears throat> Wait, you get everything from down to ground? It's like, yeah. I mean, if anything, you could just follow the packages and you'll see. But follow the packages, huh? Yeah, just don't get caught slacking off, though, bro. We like you. Did you say sucking off? <laughs> slacking <laughs> off. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so so what you're saying is hey, we gotta we gotta go lower. Is what you're saying? It's like yeah, if you don't feel like taking the stairs, you can probably just hop over. But you gotta make sure to not get caught doing that. Mm, all right. Won't our legs break? Well, well. Uh, thanks for the chat, bro. I'll go back to cleaning then. All right. Take care. Okay, we have the information we need now. Krom has high suspicion that we are janitors. <laughs> <laughs> we'll choose, we'll choose to go down some more. Or at least I do. Yeah. Else yeah I'm with you. He said to jump though, right? He did say to jump, but not get caught doing it. Uh, does that mean we're gonna get, get hurt? Actually, you, you have the feather fall, don't you? Oh yeah, I can do it. But there's no way for me to communicate if I'm fine. <laughs> The, well, we also the 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 uh, what's the feather fall only works for about sixty feet, which would be about <clears throat> roughly true. five floors. <clears throat> if I activate it right before, I don't even know where the bottom is. Fuck. Are, aren't we aren't we lighter because of that? Uh, oh, right, right, because of campfire. The, yeah, Will that be fine? You are, with the exception of uh, Krom over there. Krom. Krom. His, piss is lighter. Lighter. <laughs> His piss is lighter. His piss is lighter. Well, maybe he should just take piss the, under yourself. <laughs> maybe he should take the the feather belt. Nope. Mm, would this be a that, constant? That, that requires attunement. Mm -hmm. That requires oh, attunement okay. to use it. Okay, never mind. Um. So, what decision do we walk regularly or do we jump? 
<laughs> okay, I have an idea. I have an idea. I have, some rope. I have some rope on my pack. You can take it. Uh, you can jump down, and then we can all climb down the rope. Okay. Does it work? Yes. If you want, I should I should make it clear. There's stairs right here. <laughs> yeah, that's what I said. Yeah. Do we take the stairs or do we jump? Fine, it's safer to take the stairs. <clears throat> I would... It'd be faster to jump. Oh, man. But we don't know what's down there. I wanted to glide down. You can jump if you want. You'd get there faster. But we're taking the stairs. Guys... <laughs> we're taking <laughs> the stairs. <laughs> okay. Ah! All right. So you make it a couple more stairs down. As you see, you, you go down about five more floors, and at this point, you realize that the uh, the the darkness that seems to envelop the pit really is it, like it seems like it is magical. Because although you could only you could you you couldn't see the bottom from there. Stop! Holy crap! <laughs> That's a lot of steps, oh man. Oh my god! <laughs> so, as you reach what seems to be the final floor, you only have the stairs upwards, and you still have a hole there. What the fuck? You have a ramp that seems to just kind of lead outwards toward it slightly. And one more sign in Draconian. <clears throat> what does the sign say? Because we can read it anyway. Yeah. yeah. This, well, this sign... it, so... And you can tell us what it says. Mm. The sign says, beware of falling objects. I see. Mm. Well, that seems to be where they go. Mm. But, like, is there a bottom? So I mean, There this... has to be a bottom, right? At this point, you looking down, you still see utter blackness but at the very edges of the of the <clears throat> hole you do see a slight glowing aura uh, as if there's, as if there's I, something magical I, like, there can i take one of my torches on my out of my pack yeah, better, throw it in I, I i i like stay stay your hand and say better yet doesn't cal have some sort of a Light That's probably better than fires. See, I'm thinking there's probably a lot of grease in there. <laughs> <laughs> Where do we need to sure. share? In the the, uh, the hole in the middle. Oh, and yeah, dancing lights is 120 feet, so you can cast it down there. Okay. I'll uh I'll cast four of them. I don't know here here. In the corners. There okay. We go. So you cast dancing lights and you have the four orbs around the the edges of the of the of a pit. And as you descend further down, you realize that the edges that you were looking at are of a portal. Oh. And now so... that you can fully see what's down there, you see that objects are flying through mm. and teleporting elsewhere. Well, I've it's had enough Star... teleporting for one day. Let's not it's a Stargate. Let's not go in there. I immediately recognize this as a portal. No duh. <laughs> <laughs> but what kind of portal? Rolling out here, you to find out. Stargate. SJ1. SJ. My favorite show. I go into the portal. Uh, <laughs> I rolled a natural 20 on it. I rolled a natural 20. He already okay. jumped in. I already Whoa. jumped in. He already jumped in, but I'd still like to figure out what the portal is. As we watch him jump in, we're like, uh. <laughs> as, you see, as you see him disappear to another area using your arcane knowledge you realize oh it's a teleportation portal i'm not sure what kind of portals it are so <laughs> you can go over there real quick yes. no i put you invisible i think he was hoping to find out maybe where it led but like, i guess there's no way to yeah I guess there's no way to find out except to jump God um, damn well, it. i mean what kind of info could you guys gain from that just as a like where would it lead it would lead to a different plane of existence. Yeah, it's like or when I went to the library. Area. For all we know, he's dead now. Oh, I see. Go to the vacuum of space. So you see, it, it was a D twenty, a roll, a natural twenty. So I'd so, probably figure something out. So this portal leads to another area in the material plane. Okay. Mm -hmm. So like, okay, I place my hands like, oh, what is it? I feel for the portal, and I basically uh, tell everybody, this this would not lead anywhere uh, dangerous. It would still be in the material plane. Fire, lava's material. 
Well, okay, there's an easy way to test this. Like I said, I still have this rope. Do it. Dip it in, see if the edge gets frayed or wet or melted off. So yeah, I throw, I cast down some of my rope into the portal and I pull it back up. Okay. Yeah, what's up with the rope? So, Krom, you see the rope. Do you want to tie some sort of fancy knot so they know you're fine? Sure. <laughs> That's <laughs> me. Now, I roll. What kind, what kind of knot? I, I do a hangman's knot. <laughs> Why would you? <laughs> Suddenly a noose comes out. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's not terrifying at all. <laughs> They're like, come on in. <laughs> uh, I roll. But okay, hold on. Before I throw the noose, though, I roll. I roll. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, let me get a bad roll. Oh crap! Shit! I had a twenty. Yeah, I have a twenty again, right there. Boom! Twenty. You just roll a twenty like that. <laughs> and what I decide to do is I I proceed to write. I rip off a piece of my clothing which is my fumboshi, and okay. I use the brown part of my fumboshi in order to write down all, all uh, well, let's see, what should I write down? It should be distinct, and they, they should want to come inside. By the time you've written... After reading it. By the brownies time... for all who <laughs> enter. By the time you've written it down, I've already pulled it back up because I was just putting it d down there for like two seconds. <laughs> <laughs> no. So the rope is okay. I say we'd investigate. All right, let's go. There's still the chance that we could fall to our deaths, but... Ah, shit. All right, Geronimo. Real quick, ah. sorry. I deleted all the text. I was it's fine, but we're moving it. anyway. Okay. We're, we're changing. It's here. a random uh, uh, All right, you all hop in. Oh, God. <laughs> so you that. hop into the portal and you feel you feel the familiar from the sensation of being whisked elsewhere, the same way that you felt when you when you touched the crystal before. Or had your first kiss. Whee! Whee! <laughs> 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 where do we end up? So you plop out of a... Of a portal in the center. My character. It's in David's. It's in yeah. <laughs> it oh, well. yeah. Uh, My bad. Oop. There everyone's right. Oh yeah. There uh, is. Yeah. Tom, what is mine? You're right, right here. Oh. Right. So you pop out of the center and you see uh, packages surrounding you. Uh, as you as you stand up and you take a look, you notice there are several kobolds all working to gather these packages. Did they notice us? Uh, you kind of hopped out of the portal, but I will give you a chance to roll for stealth. But okay, uh, yeah, I would like to try to. Hell yeah! <clears throat> for one thing, I'd like to try to get out of the the radius of like the things. Yeah, so the like, packages. So packages, so packages don't hit us in the head. Wait, is yeah. there a portal like here, or did it just drop us here and there's no way back? Oh my it... god, I rolled a one. <laughs> Nineteen, baby. You get stuck in the portal, portal style, and you're just flinging back and forth. <laughs> no. Well, I'm not gonna make you. Like, is this just like a pedestal that it just puts us on, or is it a portal? Is there like a back? portal floating above up above? It's that. Like, I rolled a twenty. I think, I I think to it's lick one of the kobolds. I think it's it's, like, it's, it's, it's in the like ground this. and you. It's in the ground and you pop out. Oh, okay. So like, so it's still a portal there back, right? Oh, you see this yes. Mm -hmm. okay. Although you probably have to jump in. So I will make it. Let me redraw this a little to make it clear. I was gonna say, so let, let's, be, let's say this, is, this right here is like a ramp to get up. Mm. And then you've got the portal right here. Oh, okay. Why wouldn't and it be it like just... horizontal? <laughs> Who did it like this? <laughs> Why wouldn't it be a walk-in portal, not a jump-in portal? Mm -hmm. yeah, Blame Blam is on, man. Aren't the, aren't the packages gonna fall right back in? Yeah. <laughs> they, with the force that they're being ejected out, they actually fall off to the sides and the like the edges over here. Oh, okay. so, There's a wedge so in the pretty ceiling. Pretty they're pretty geyser. much. Yeah, they're, it's pretty much a geyser of shit. Like, geyser permanente. Shit. Oh my god! Don't don't give me ideas, man. <laughs> I've already got a bunch of fun notes, but that's deleted. Okay, so do you want to want to sneak? Yeah, so we're pretty much detected immediately. Yeah, yeah they pretty much see you guys. So we all clamber up with DJ with all the noise getting out. <laughs> yeah. 
Like it trips I, over I or trip, something. Yeah, I trip yeah. on a package and then I, st- I, I cause a domino effect that just that, uh, locks other packages over. Yeah, <laughs> it knocks it knocks all their hard work over. Oh um, man. Okay, so that being said, you, you, the the cobalt see you and they they immediately sound the alarm. It looks like oh, the cobalts themselves are retreating. But it looks like they had enemy, like they had creatures at the ready. On uh, hell. In case of intruders, I I, yeah. I feel a fight approaching. Ready yourselves, people. Okay, yeah. ready my crossbow. Good news, your... bad news. Bad Pepper news your is, Angus. I ripped my underwear. But the good news is, um, we're together again. <laughs> 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 gotta say, Chrome, oh, no. you're quite the character. I know. It's almost like I'm in a, uh, how you say, uh, a prison and uh, lizards campaign, right? Super crazy. <laughs> prison, <laughs> prison and lizards. <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. Well, what comes out to attack us? Uh, you see. Three owlbears. Owl bears. Oh no! I, I I immediately begin feeling with hatred. Owlbears killed my family. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's a drop bear. Oh, yeah, owlbears in my black shirt. Owlbears actually killed my family, so I have to like look what the fuck? angry. Yeah, listening was to I, the was that, your, that was your adopted family. Yeah. All right. So taking a further look at the area, as you realize you're getting surrounded, you notice it. You see a fence. It's you're out in the open, um, but you have entrances on both sides that are just open gateways at the moment. And you have two elders approach from the east and one from the west. The kobolds themselves have fled out of the area. Roll initiative. Let's, let's see. Initiative. Let's see. Why is there a giant die here? <laughs> Roll for initiative. I rolled four. God dang it. Oh, no. Plus four, so it's eight. I have eight. Fuck, I rolled a three. I rolled a fifteen plus Where do I where do you see that shit? Hang on. Uh, it should be in your initiative. Should he got eight? Yeah, I got eight. Okay. Where is where That's is counting it? your modifiers, right? Uh oh wait. Plus my modifier. Oh uh combat plus two. Initiative so plus two. Right, so I I'll be five I then. Eight. I got eighteen plus two, which is twenty. I got nice. What was it? Fifteen plus three, which is eighteen. Okay. Let me add these all properly. So we got eighteen. We got twenty. DJ, what'd you get? My die. My die rolled into your territory. <laughs> Six. Six. Plus, plus your modifier. Plus two, so eight. Plus three. Okay. Nine. Plus three. Nine. Okay. All right. And what's your current HP? Since that's changed now. What's your max? <clears throat> 22 hit points. DJ has 22. Nice. Mm-hmm. I have 17. Shadid, 17. I'm at 19. Josh, 19. Christian? Uh, what are we lift- listing off? Max, max hit points. points. Uh, 15. 15? And EK? What are we listing off? Max HP. <laughs> max HP. <laughs> HP, oh, I still love it. He still... How much? 65. What? Jesus Christ. How? 65 at level 2. Because I put 18 in constitution and I have plus 6. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> My That's why I asked why barbarians actually rest right by barbarians get like uh, 1d15, like what is it, hit die or something. Yep. What the yeah. fuck? Yeah, they get like a 15 hit die, that's right. But you're okay. in front now. Real quick, what's your ACs? They just don't wear any armor. 12. Right. Oh, it should be 15. Why does it say? Minus, minus 16. Minus 17. I'm just saying fucked up. Yeah, it should be 15. Minus 18. How did yours go up again? Minus 13. Mine's always been 17. Has it? Okay. Yeah, it's got draconic resilience. Oh, right, right. Yeah. What the hell happened here? Why is Orc Pub fucking up? What I what I use athletics for? Man, I am super rusty. Holy shit. Athletics is for like... Uh... Like running like super super quickly at something to do a charge attack or an honor or something. That's athletics, right? Mm-hmm. It's yeah. basically athletics or like, or uh, like what keeping is it? keeping your balance or like climbing keeping, up a rock wall. Keeping uh 
keeping your uh, your head above water and you know, the tur- turmul- turbulent waters. Mm-hmm. All right. Oh, so, so okay. Any so, any yeah. general any general test of your like athleticism. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, so, what are my weapons point. again? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, DM. What are no, my it's all good. Uh, uh, you had a great axe, right? Had a glaive, and then you had a hand axe, didn't you? A great, great axe. Yeah. Great axe. Okay. All right. So who goes first? I gotta okay. research something. So initiative. Uh, sorry, but you're first. <laughs> you rolled a twenty. Fair <laughs> enough. Um, <laughs> here's my stuff. Give me a sec. So these owl bears are pretty hefty. I will say that right hefty, now. Hefty, hefty, hefty. Just remember, each each square represents five feet. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So your move is. So, like, basically, whatever your speed is by five. Mm-hmm. Speed is by five. Okay, let's see. Shit. What the fuck is in shop? For example, I have 30 speed, which means it I can move six, six spaces. Yeah. All right, I have... For sake of clarity, I'm going to basically mark these as what you can walk on. Sorry, guys. This should be easier once I actually print out my character sheet. All right, so the great axe stats that I have is a 1d12 plus 5. Mm-hmm. Which is and what's your what's your, plus to, what's your proficiency to hit? I don't know what that is. Uh, so so, the, so there's, a, there's the damage for your thing, for your weapon, and then there's it to hit. Uh, so it's a, it's a great axe, right? D&D yeah. 5e great axe. So your weapon has it's a one d twelve. Do you have a do you have proficiency with heavy weapons? It doesn't look he, like it has. A he has he hit. has proficiency in martial weapons, so that should be covered. Mm-hmm. Okay. So then that means so he doesn't have a plus to hit, but when it hits, it's gonna hurt. Okay. So I think I think you do get. It. It'll just be off of your well, like I mean, what I mean is there's nothing for the weapon because like you know how the dagger has a plus to hit. The great axe does not. Yeah, moves. but I think I think proficiency gives you a plus to hit. Yeah, so it'd be his proficiency, which would yeah, be proficiency bonus, which is two at level two. Two. Okay. Yeah, which is two at level two. So you roll a d twenty plus two, and if you hit, it's that one d twelve plus five, which is ridiculous. I didn't cheat. Like I, I know. I no, I I believe you, but I I'm really gonna have to work on balancing this stuff again. Like I said, I, I do my homework when I make a character. Like when <laughs> you guys were playing, all I was doing was reading. Um, shit. Okay, so my speed is thirty, and he said each block is six or five. Five, five feet. Block is five. Okay, so you can move six spaces. One, Diagonals two, count. Three, four, five, six spaces, right? Mm-hmm. Five or five spaces. That's good. no so six. One. Yeah, six, 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 six. You're right. Six, six, you're six, good. Five. You can be there. Six, six, six. Okay. Yeah, six, so six, six. Here's what I want to do. I want to move here, um, and just swing my great axe while well, sneakies. Do you want to sneak up on the Albert? Haven't they already seen us? Sneak attack. They've already yeah. seen us, though. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, I want yeah. to run, jump in the air, and smack. This <laughs> okay. okay. Considering you got a considering you got a running start, that'll add some extra damage, yeah, which you don't it. need. But yeah, roll. Okay. Come on. Don't, don't you can just press R, by the way. Or, you know. That's more it. fun, though, to most people. But... And you guess you can toss it. 14, 14 and then what do I add to it? Plus that, two. Plus two. My, my athletics, right? Uh, yeah. No, you, you, you add plus two a hit. For your proficiency with the weapon, yeah. but that, that would be a hit, so you roll your d12, which is this one. Yeah, roll your that d12 one? For, for damage, yeah. Is this one I have in my hand right now? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Is it actually rolling? Okay, so 12 plus 5, which yeah, is 17. Rolling. 17 damage. Yeah. And you got a running start, so add your athletics bonus to that too. Which that is, is what, 7. Two plus you seven. have a plus 7 to athletics? <laughs> yes, I do. Whoa. <laughs> okay, Jesus then. Christ, what the fuck did you do? <laughs> Here, let me, let me do this. Let me just download oh, my shit again. So that's, that's like, what, 22 seven. damage? 19, 20, 24 damage. 24. Jeez, okay, hang on, I should mark these. This one is <laughs> minus 24. It's not even fair. Okay. <laughs> so you get a nice, healthy chunk slashed out of the owl bear. 
It is, dead. See, it is not dead. Oh. But it's 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 its eyes start burning with hatred that you knew no animal could have. Oh, you remind me of my ex girlfriend. Also, guys, I need help. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. That usually works. <laughs> <laughs> We're, it's in a different league now, boys. It is now Christian's turn. <laughs> My turn, huh? Uh, yes. Okay. My character sheet is on the is shared on the thing, by the way. Cool. It's two prong, so one you guys will show me where to read the shit, so I stop asking stupid the, questions. The bear is engaged sure. with EK, right? Mm -hmm. uh, yes, it is. They're engaged. <laughs> Every <laughs> time we're gonna say this. Every <laughs> single time. <laughs> of course. Um... Do our spell Come slots on. come back since we leveled up, or is that still used no. up? No, that's, that's, we... that's a resting. That's a okay. long resting. Cool. Yeah. Means, it means I'll have two left, you also have two left, because you get one extra from leveling up. Do I? Because you used Incident Whisper, right? Yeah. Yeah, so you, you, have, uh, you have two at level one, you get one extra at level two. Okay. And so you'd have two, just like me, since I use Magic Missile. I don't know, my, my character sheet says I have two in total. If you're if you're saying that then so yeah, you do, I guess I guess warlocks have lower lower amounts. Mm. Um, I run up to the owl bear and uh, go and try to go for an attack with my rapier. All right, your rapier, which you shaved down during the short rest from the long sword. Nine, uh, <laughs> nine, nine plus, plus, plus whatever plus four, hit. plus four, thirteen. Nice. Is that, a hit? that is a hit. Okay, now I roll 1d8 plus 2 damage. A one. <laughs> 3 damage. You hit it for 3 damage. You stab it slightly, but its focus is still mainly on EK. Oh, <laughs> oh fuck yeah, you keep looking at me like that, I might give you a kiss. <laughs> All right, it is now Albert 2's turn, which is going to be this one. So this one makes its way further towards you guys. Is dodge used in athletics as well? Uh, dodge uh, is a 3.5 thing. This is yeah, 3.5. Yeah, yeah, for this one, the, the AC, the armor class, counts as your your damage, like you take like avoiding damage and like absorbing hits. Okay. So. Um, so it's all just mixed into one thing. Mm -hmm. Alright, the Albert starts to make its way closer towards the group. It is now Josh's turn. Whoa, it's my turn? Mm -hmm. Okay, so they're fighting this this one. This one. This, this one's, one's walking up in, towards us. And this one's just sitting there still? It hasn't moved yet. Oh, it hasn't moved. Um, let's see. I don't know. I guess I'll engage with the one that's closest to me. That yeah, one. Um, I'm like eating mango at the same time. <laughs> mango. Yeah, mango. Elvish blast home. Which one does more? I don't know, but uh, they're, they're beefy, so. Oh yeah, we're going to my Eldritch blast reach three hundred feet now. How far I'm is seen. that? <laughs> you literally, you literally don't have to move. You can attack and then just run away from it. Uh, this is you come here, me a blast. This one d ten. This one is one d eight. Yeah, I'll do the Eldritch Blast. We're... It's d twenty first, and then yeah, see if it hits. Mm -hmm. Do you see how far my my mouse is? You can literally hit this. <laughs> <laughs> it will never come in handy. <laughs> Just roll. <laughs> Seventeen, that's a hit. Bam. And then do ten or more do ten. Just one? Yeah, it's ten. Whee! You're only hit for eight. eight. Do you have any modifiers? I forget. Or no. Uh I forgot how it works actually. We well, have the ones that are plus to hit and then the ones that are like damage plus something. It says mod plus five, but I don't know if that's damage or if that's to hit. That's that is to hit. 
hit. That's yeah, a hit. It's not, it's not to damage. I thought so. Plus five to hit? That's insane. Okay. Yeah, that's, like, that's all the damage it is for now. My, my heavy crossbow has plus seven to hit for some reason. So you hit for eight damage. Uh -huh. All my gets, spells are that. It's glass with unholy fire, and you notice that this creature is not going to go down with us. <laughs> Oh, you know what? I know. Actually, know exactly why that is. Never mind. Because I is, have the archery fighting style. It is now. Coincidentally, it is this Albert's turn now. So he makes its way six spaces. One, two, three, four, five. Well, directly in front. I should have run away further, man. I should have actually, seeing how far I can shoot. Yeah. So he runs straight up to you, and he attempts to take a bite out of you with its beak. Which is probably going to hurt. Yeah. Give you a little nibble. All my dice are gone, aren't they? <laughs> give your ear lobe a little all nibble. The... A little nibble. How did they all go away? I don't know. You erased them, I think. Yeah, I, I think, think you're They were creating singularities and you got rid of them. Yeah, so it'd be this one and then a d10 if he hits. Okay. Three. Do you have, the hit. Do you have AC of fifteen? Or, yeah, no, I don't know what you're miss. checking. That's like a <laughs> definite miss. They have. Well, you'll you'll see. All right. So attempts to take a bite out guess. of you, and you hear the the wind snap as it takes a bite slightly to your side, but you dodge just in time, and uh, you take no damage this round. It is now DJ's turn. Okay. Give your ear a uh, tickling nibble. <clears throat> <laughs> well, I think I'm going to move to. Let's see. One, two, three. I'm going to move three spaces to here. I'm going to try to shoot this uh, owlbear in the face with my crossbow. All right. So let's see how that goes. Nine, Nine plus seven. Plus so, seven. That is a hit. All right. Let me roll for my damage. You should have said that you were you shot your crossbow while doing acrobatics or doing aer aerobics rather. Aerobics. <laughs> 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 Just to get that. Ten. He shoots the crossbow while doing a cartwheel. Yeah. <laughs> Eight yeah. plus three. Nice. You hit it for 11, 11 damage. The crossbow bolt just whistles Oops. through the air and smacks it straight through the cheek and it pierces through. Alright, cool. Now I want to use the rest of my, my movement. That's fair. So I'm going to go one, two, three. <laughs> just go on safer. Yeah. That's smart. Okay, it is now Elbear 1's turn. It is this one's turn. Oh, fuck yeah. <laughs> so this one is aggro uh, towards EK, so he attempts to attack him with its claws. Um, this oh, you one... know what I forgot to do? I forgot to use bonus action on EK. <laughs> Could have used Sorry. the bardic inspiration just in case. It's okay. Alright, so he attempts, he attempts to slack with the claws. Your thing is what? Whoops. I think I accidentally locked EK's piece. Yeah, oh, wait, no, I, I got it, I got it, there you go. Yeah, watch the EK's, like, armor class. His is, 16. uh, 16, 16, and it is a hit. Damn it. So, this thing hits you for 2d8 damage, plus other stuff. So. That thing. Yeah, these things are pretty beastly. 6 plus... Five. You take 11 damage. Shit. Subtract that from 65. Yep. That's love. So he slashes you with both of its claws. Considering you only have the loin cloth, you manage to avoid damage and you're still fully robed. <laughs> but now there's gashes across your chest and out of your left side. Oh, just like Takamura. Oh. <laughs> it is now... Uh, that is just like Takamura. <laughs> I choose to cast Frostbite on the one... Uh, on... Not that one. First I move one... Two, three, four, five over here. I choose to cast Frostbite on this owlbear over here. Okay, mm. and forget it. That's a save, isn't it? Yeah, that's a, that's a constitution save against my spellcasting DC, which is 18, I believe. 18? <clears throat> Let's see. They have constitution. 
but not enough constitution. They take damage. 1d6. It's low damage, but at any its, it's next attack roll has a disadvantage. Nice. If only it was slightly sooner. Let me Go see. ahead and roll for the 1d6. Oops, this off. work? Uh, DJ, I'm going to do something. Tell me if this works. Two. Two. Any modifiers oh, to that, no. or just two? Yeah, uh, yeah, no, yeah. Two. Okay. So it takes two damage. I do if you select all your dice, right click it, go to uh, toggles and click on hands, you can put it in like the bottom of your screen. Alright, it is now, oh, that's way more useful. it is EK's turn again. Yeah, this is way more useful. <laughs> yeah, you can just grab them from the bottom of your screen, wherever you are. Mm -hmm. Oh, that is convenient. Can you? Oh, I don't yeah. have a hand. Damn it. Because it doesn't show it like at the bottom of my screen. No? Chose it for me. Yeah. That was for me. It's in your hand, right? It is, but it doesn't show it. Well, I don't know. That's, that's weird. Uh, you're just special. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, who's next? It is now EK's turn again. Oh, hell yeah. And I'm like, ha, he's a flesh wound. Like, let me go ahead and show you what how a real man hits you. Except you're not to be a man. You're Mr. Burden. <laughs> <Mr. Burden. laughs> <laughs> oh man, I, I wanna. If 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 where you're from, owl bears are beasts of burden. I wanna live there. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the beast Jerry Pace tells us they can be tamed to be like uh, guard, basically guard animals. Huh. Which here we are. <laughs> yeah. You are pigs in my village, pigs. Oh, that's what that looks like. <laughs> all right, go ahead and roll. roll. 20. Nat 20. Nat 20. Do you want to crit. risk it all and see if you can get an instant kill or just get your natural crit? I don't think it's worth it. I don't think it's worth it either. I don't think it's worth it. I mean, it's a 1 in 20 of not getting a crit and a 1 in 20 of an instant kill. So. Mm. But, I mean, I don't think they have that much health. Give me... Give me me. So, if since it's a nat 20... Is it max what I can hit him for anyway? Is that what you're saying? You hit him no, twice. So, so, so a crit is you can... So we'll make it this. You can roll twice for damage, and it's the higher one twice. Mm -hmm. so That's it's fine, double too. damage. Um, and then if the, as a house rule, if you want to roll the d20 a second time, if you get a 20, it's an instant kill. doesn't matter what you're fighting. And if it's a 1, your crit is canceled out, and it's just a regular hit. So I rolled twice. The highest one from them was 10. So what... Which one is? That would be 10 plus whatever your ridiculous modifier is, 12. Uh, let's see. Times 2, 24. So 10 times 2, and it was at plus athletics, right? Is that what yeah, it was? That's, that's, that's if you're going to do like a crazy like running attack again. Oh, right, right. So that's not counting this time because you're stationary. Fair mm -hmm. enough. So then what would I add? So it'd be ten plus one. So it's just it's just plus your, isn't it like his proficiency, which was what plus? Oh yeah, plus, plus five. Well, it's plus five. Do it's you get damage? Yeah. So it was fifteen times two is thirty. Yeah. Oh yeah, you get plus five slash. Mm -hmm. Okay. So it's thirty. Yeah, because it's fifteen times two this is thirty. Jesus. All right, you hit it for thirty damage. This strike actually manages to cleave its head straight off. Oh <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you see, oh, touch, touch me in bad place, I put you in bad place. <laughs> it's, like a, son. it's like a scene in Skyrim when you cut their head off. It's pretty, right. it's pretty much that. It's that <laughs> terrible little cutscene. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Worst looking. I ate half the pizza. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so one owlbear's dead. Oh, hold up. Oh hmm? my god. It's like, that's right, you guys, when you mess with me, I take you to another level. The place where it's hot, and you can meet the devil. Yeah. I didn't eat anything else all day, so I feel a little <laughs> better about it. So what do you guys think, huh? Am I, am I, in, am I evil? Am I evil? Yeah, cool that. Don't worry, I didn't eat everything. <laughs> I gotta I say, Chrome, that was pretty sweet. Oh, yeah. I think okay, you deserve I, half I, a I, pizza. I beam with delight and say, I've never seen an owlbear die so so wonderfully. Oh. By it's like as by the way, my character hates owlbears. So anything good bad you do to them, I'll like say I'll like basically suck your dick. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that that owlbear is done, and it is now Christian's turn. Dunion rings. Dunion rings. Dunion rings. My turn. Yeah. 
Well, um, that's a camera. Which one was it? Oh, it's this one. Sorry, I'm, I was trying to figure out that stupid hand stain why it's not working. Oh, yeah. So that thing is dead, huh? <clears throat> um, okay. Uh, let's see. I can uh, I can help out Josh over there. Probably. Let's see, I'll move one, two, three, four, five, six. Move this dice out of the way. Hmm. For the hand thing, just press H. H. Yeah, anything in your hand will it'll show at the bottom of the screen or not. Show it up for me. All right, so what do you do to this elevator? Hold on, what the I'm hell? In... Pots and pans. There you go. We're still fighting, right? Yeah, yeah. 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 Still two so, more bears left. So I will uh, attack with my rapier. Okay. Uh, let me roll this. Actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna do the uh, the old fashioned roll. roll. <laughs> Hey. Hey. Do you oh. risk it all? <laughs> it's not much of a risk considering it's still a hit. But... Okay, F it. No, what are you doing? No. What are you doing? 17. 17. So it's still just, it's a crit, but it's, it's still, just a, you're still yes. good. Oh, okay. wait. Right. Oh, so it still counts as a crit if you try it? Yeah. So, yeah. so there's no downside to, to, to try. If, Except if for hitting a one. one if Except you roll a one, the crit is canceled. If you roll a 20, it's an instant kill. Anything in between, it's still a crit. Uh, okay. All right. So, well, then that's way better. Okay. All right. You roll a crit. So roll your damage. Okay. This is a D8, right? Yeah, there it is. Yep. Damage. Yep. Maybe pop one. Okay. Seven. Seven. Any modifiers? <laughs> like all the hands. Plus. Seven plus two. Plus two, nine damage. Nice. So times twice of 18. Times two is 18, yep. So you hit it for 18 damage. Your rapier actually appears to go nearly all the way through. <laughs> Jesus. And as you, as, you, as you rip it out, you see fur and tufts of flesh fly off to the side. And you put your rapier at the ready. Albert just had like a a crossbow bolt stuck in its neck, and a rapier just shanked through it. Now, for real. It also got blown up a little bit. Yeah, it's, <laughs> yeah like it's forcing then, it uh, Who who's next after me? Now it is Albert Two's turn. Well, I mean, who, hold on, Alberto? hold on, because I, I want to do a bonus action, but I I want to know who which one of us is oh, next. After the Albert, it's Josh's turn. Uh. See, if I were to do Bardic Inspiration on him, he'd probably just use one of those spells that doesn't roll a d20. Yeah, it doesn't. Except for it the does. except for the the check. The Eldritch Blast does. Eldritch yeah. Blast is a, an attack roll. Yes. Who's hit the hardest? The only thing that doesn't is just in whispers, and I don't have that ready. Okay, I'll do it on you then, since you're here. Right. Uh, which I mean, Bardic Inspiration. Just you just add a one d six roll to mm. uh, your d twenty roll. Nice. And that's it. Just so, remember, right, just to keep track of it, hand him one of your hand him your uh, your d six. Mm. Just so you know. Why? No, that's fine. Yeah. I'll just okay. put it behind you so you remember. That's fair. It is now Albert Two's turn. So the Albert is still trying to go for the nearest enemy. <laughs> I think... This case happens to be okay. <laughs> <laughs> and this one attempts to attack him with its beak, which will be <laughs> 20. You already. I'm like, will that hit you, okay? Three. <laughs> and it is a miss. Their beaks don't seem to hit very well. Very well. Oh, I knew it. I give you a little. As soon as you came over, I knew you were like, this one's going to try to kiss me. I should probably move out of the way. Like, these guys like giving little little nibbles. 
It is now uh, Josh, It's now Josh's turn. Do we agree that the Eldritch Blast is just like the width of this it's line? It's just a light. There's it's no just, width. It's it's yeah. a laser beam. Yeah. yeah. It's just so it's like a one, just a laser beam. They'd have, they'd have to be they'd have to be completely lined up. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we went with that. So it's not just the tiles lined up. It's, it's got to be a direct line. Okay. Mm-hmm. So basically, you can attack straight or diagonally. It's not gonna what? Well, you know what I mean. Like, if yeah. you're trying to attack multiple. Yeah, 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 yeah. But, uh, I'll yeah, just blast. Nine. Nine, Nine plus. plus. Roll that D6. Roll the D6? <laughs> yeah, roll the D6. Four. Plus, your plus five. That is a hit. Go ahead and roll. D10 is this one. So it's almost plus. 10. I know, I so. saw. Alright, you hit it for 6 damage. This one. Actually, I just realized you didn't attack the one right in front of you. Isn't it you dead? No, it's not oh, dead. No, the one, the one over here is dead. Oh, oh, oh. Dead. We got yeah. crit on that one. Yeah, that one is still alive right here. Oh, I didn't realize. Yeah, it kind of turns towards you. The the one directly in front of you is slightly offended that okay. just, you that I ignored him. You can still move, right? No, it's, it's, he's, he's engaged with it though. I thought it was. Oh, well, didn't it switch to Christian, or is it still on me? It's. Uh, we'll consider it like a cone, so because you guys are in front of time, Okay. Um, so it's, it's kind of engaged with both of you, but you could try to move, and they would have to roll to see if you can. No, nah, it's fine. Okay. Because it is now that one's turn, so. This one attempts to hit you with its claws, which I might regret because it might be an instant kill. Um, here we go. So this one attacks, attempts to hit you with its claws, and it rolls an 11, and your AC is 15. flat. It is plus so-and-so to hit. That is a hit. And it hits you for... It's got more than four. <laughs> 2d8. Plus, Ooh. well, that wouldn't kill me, right? Or plus what? Plus five. Oof. Oh shit. Oof. <laughs> Oof. Ooh, you get hit for eighteen damage. Ooh, I got one health. <laughs> I am crippled on the floor. <laughs> You're nearly gutted right now, and it begins to emit a war cry. Ouch. Okay. Don't worry. When it's my turn, I can heal you. Don't you have all your spell slots used up though? No, I don't. I, I still it is have now a DJ's turn. I still have the one left. Oh, oh, right. you, you got one extra from leveling up. Yeah, yeah I, I have, have one my left. maneuvers. Okay, well, I'm going to move to here and try to stab it with my spear. All right. So let's roll them bones. 16. 16 plus 5. That is, a, that is a hit. All right, 1d6 right. plus 3. 4 plus 3, 7. 7 damage? Mm-hmm. Nice. So you get a good stab into it off on the side, and it... Uh, what sound do elves make? It could cause out in the face. <laughs> it hoots. It hoots. Ooh. It hoots in pain, like, ooh, ooh. That, that one hurt. <laughs> It could cause. <laughs> Sue me. What do you expect? <laughs> and it's now uh, Shadid's turn. Uh, I move over here. Well, wow, everyone's just leaving EK on his own now. Uh, he'll be fine. He's fine. <laughs> I've, I've seen He's what got, he can do. He's got plenty of health. I, I decided to cast Frostbite on it to give it that debuff. Okay. We cast frostbite. Uh, Go ahead and roll. It's a, it's a, it's a constitution save, remember? Oh, right, right. So they have to roll against, what was it, 16? 18. 18? Mm-hmm. Why do my friends always leave me? <laughs> 13. 13, it's constitution. Now you're in the heat of battle. You don't even good. notice. Okay. Uh, it's a hit. Roll d6 hit. for damage. Yep. No, he's got, he's got like a split personality and one no, personality. Like six. Like, <laughs> one personality just like is aware of everything but can't act. <laughs> While he's in bloodlust. Uh, a three. Three damage. It takes three damage. Three mm-hmm. damage and its next attack it roll shivers. is a disadvantage. Okay. Yep, it shivers next, me yeah. timbers. 
<laughs> yeah, and it's next attack rolls a disadvantage. Okay. And it is now Ike's turn. Unless you choose to move. Do you want to move more, or are you could? Well, no. he's engaged with the thing, right? Yeah. No, yeah. I, I mean, I mean Shadid, sorry. Oh, no, I'm, I'm done moving. I'm done moving. Okay, EK. Okay. Let's see, let's see. What do I want to do? All right. I I grabbed the blood off of my chest. <laughs> I wiped it on my own face. <laughs> <laughs> but below my eyes... Because I don't want to... You just rub the blood in your eyes? Just <laughs> <laughs> roll my eyes. I'm like, it's hammer time, except with axe. So let me ask you a question. <laughs> and I proceed to jump into the air and attempt to smash my axe onto its skull. All right, roll okay. for a hit. Roll for a hit. This one's still nearly at full health, but... That's gonna hurt. Okay, but you, but when you it's a fourteen, 14. That's, plus, that's two, a plus two to hit. Do yeah, I add the athletics because I actually jumped into the air this time? No, he uh, he's actually he's actually got plus seven to hit. How for the great X? This is because of your. Did you get a great X or something? No, I'm looking at his character sheet. Huh. Oh, yeah. Okay then. Damn. Plus seven. Because that's because he's stuff, using man. because he's got a natural twenty for strength. Mm -hmm. And uh, so that's a plus five modifier right there, mm -hmm. plus his proficiency <laughs> bonus of two. So mm -hmm. yeah, it's seven. Mm -hmm. Nice. Okay, so he hits it. That is a, yeah, that's a hit. Okay. You just put everything into strength. Oh, actually, and constitution. Well, yeah, actually, that's what barbarians do. Oh actually, it probably it probably wasn't a natural, but he probably gets strength because half work. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Extra that's strength. Exactly why. Mm -hmm. So let's see. Go for damage. Is that that's the second damage? <laughs> that's a one. That's a one. Your damage was one. <laughs> well, you kind of you kind of just dropped it. You you made a real showboat of it, but you kind of no, wish it. Yeah. <laughs> you have to, you have to showboat of it, but it kind of okay. You have to do it vigorously. One, he has one, 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 it's still not rolling. Huh? It's still not to, rolling. Like, don't don't do it in yeah, circles. Either, do it, do it in like either, little like, little like that. Do it really hard. You have to shake it really. Or hard. that roll it. See what he's doing. Five. And then. Five plus uh plus five, five damage. That's ten, ten damage. Ten. Like if you're trying to roll it and you don't hear that sound, you're not rolling it. Okay. So. Mm -hmm. Alrighty. All right. So you, hit, so you you hit it uh, right on the skull for ten damage. It 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 tries to move off to the side and it glances off, but you still get a good hit in. Do I can you can you say it glanced one of his eyes maybe? What does EK yell Delaware smash? <laughs> smash! <laughs> I feel like that would be more of a critical hit kind of thing. Because yeah, it would, it would yeah. be debilitating to his, like, combat. Having yeah. Like, um... We'll say it glanced off of the side and it kind of sparked off of its beak. Fair enough. I'll accept uh, that. It is now uh, Josh's turn. Uh, wait, no, Christian's turn. Sorry. Yeah. God, no one helps me in my fights. <laughs> you killed him super fast! Yeah. <laughs> You've got, like, Herculean strength. I was trying to help you, but I didn't realize that this one was still alive. <laughs> I thought it was dead for some reason. Cause it's because I shot him, and I shot him, like, through the mouth. But oh, I yeah. Kill him. He was just kind of, like, annoyed by it. Yeah, but what's your turn? What do you do? I, uh... Huh. I'm on the floor right now. Yeah, I know. Because <laughs> I'm looking. If I use Cure Wounds, it'll heal you more, but... But it's, not a, heal... but it's not a bonus action. No. Healing mm. Word is a bonus action. Mm -hmm. But it's only 1d4 plus my modifier. Um, well, I think if we're going by the cone rule, that it's out of... It's out of... Uh... Uh, it, it's not engaged on me and yeah. you instead of on you and Josh. Yeah, so it's not engaged with him at the moment. So, I mean, next round you probably could flee mm. if you need be. And remember, reaching zero health is an instant death. Yeah. You no. Make three saving throws. Yeah. Or someone can just go stabilize you for okay. the land stuff. In that case, I'll, uh, I'll just use healing word on Josh. Okay. Uh, 
I will roll. I hold on. Let me cast it so I can so I can know I used it. <laughs> uh, what is that? One D four. Where is it? It's this triangle one, right? Yep. Uh, two plus five, seven. Seven health. Five, seven. Nice. Brings you back, back to eight health. Yep. Mm -hmm. That was and pretty good. We're still another not, claw not, would kill me. You're not, you're not totally crippled, but you're still bleeding profusely. I'm feeling better. <laughs> no. I'm gonna go for a walk. <laughs> Away from this elbow. Then I will. I will go for an attack on <laughs> on this. This one. With my right. rapier. Go ahead and roll your d20 and your attack. We're just poking holes in this thing. <laughs> For real, this one's like, it's, it, it would probably start to trigger tryptophobia in a few rounds. 18. 18 plus a hit. Four. That's basically a hit. hit. That's a hit. Roll for damage. One. Plus, plus two. One plus two. two. Three. Three. Three damage. Wait, is it plus a little poke. two? Is it really plus two, though? Did you look at your character sheet? Yeah, I did. Look. Wait. Combat. <laughs> Melee plus four to hit. 1d8 plus two damage. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. All right, you said with the rapier again. Not as fiercely as last time. Oh, that's right, because it's a melee. Okay. Yeah. It's a yeah. melee attack, so it gets the strength modifier, not... not it's just the oh, dex no, it's, modifier, actually. Yeah, the finesse weapon, sure. Yeah, yeah. it's dex. Yeah. It appears that it's further for... It's thicker than it normally appears. Um, it is now Alvair 2's turn, which is this one here. Damn it. So this one, of course, tries to attack you. This time it's going to go after you with its claws. Oh. Two. Two. <laughs> that's nope. a miss. That's a definite miss. It's Josh's turn. Hold on. <laughs> I, I, I sweave to the left. I'm like, man, I might have barely hit you, but you hit like a vegetarian. Now go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> what? Josh's turn. How far can I go back? It would still catch up to me, really. But we break well, the edge. So they, mean... They'd have to get, like, opportunity attacked by two people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Three, in three, fear, I go all the way over here if you want. Yeah, but I don't want to get too close to the other one uh, in case it gets ideas. Like, I was gonna be like, you should try to make it behind DK. <laughs> <laughs> actually, you know what? I'll just hide behind you guys. Yeah, you could. Uh, you could actually make it over here. Could I? Yeah. One, hide two, behind three, DK. Four, five, six. Yeah, I've seen debates where diagonals shouldn't count as just one space because eventually it distorts. But mm. it's fine. It's fine. Um, right. Okay, so then let's do a chill touch on this one that was attacking me. Cause okay. Fuck him. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, where's my die? Roll the hit. What are you doing to my hand? Three. Plus yeah, one. That's a hit. Wait, what? Plus one. Plus, plus five. Uh, plus I think five. There's... No, that's a miss. God damn it. What describe what the hand does. The hand goes straight towards it and it just kind of slowly brushes the owlbear's cheek and it, just kind of, <laughs> and it goes off into the distance. It scratches its chin. It doesn't take any him, damage considering a, it's heavily pat on insulated the for. <laughs> the owlbear. <laughs> sure, it pats him on the head. The owlbear is. Inspired to work harder next round. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Dang. I, I bunch up with a good couple dudes. They've been encouraging our enemies. <laughs> <laughs> uh, who's next? It is now that Elbear's turn. We'll give it remember, a plus one to hit because. Remember, it has um, it, it also disadvantage, remember. Yes. My name is. So it's going to try to hit uh, DJ, but it's got disadvantage, so we'll see if it even hits. It needs a nine. It's got, it's got a plus seven to hit though. So. Mm -hmm. Seven. Seven. No, it's not gonna hit. That would hit. 
You have to use the lower roll as a disadvantage, so it's gonna hit, it's gonna miss super hard. It's gonna botch. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, it's a crit. Hang on, I, I I specifically got a list of crit fails, <laughs> and I would like to use it if you guys but are far. willing to accept. Sure. Go ahead. Go ahead. The, the ridiculous consequences. Oh, what's happening to you over here? <laughs> what did you stop? <laughs> I had them in order, so I know what the fuck is which. Okay. What is, why is your box visible? I don't we know. Get to roll, we get to roll two d fives. The box is showing. <laughs> I was trying to make a box so we couldn't do that. No. Ten. <laughs> oh shit! Okay, the Albert gets struck by lightning and takes ten lightning damage. <laughs> wow. <laughs> It's not, a, it's not a cloud in the sky. <laughs> <laughs> oh it just, my God. It just, just do it as like the, what is it? Like a, <laughs> a, a, a deity that's watching over this fight gets so upset at the Albert. Because, so, yeah, so. Rowanson, Rowanson turns to look at a, a alien and says, Did you learn a new spell? Uh, just look at me. Oh I don't even, God. I don't even know anything. <laughs> it, it takes 10 lightning damage. Mm -hmm. But Albert is dead. Good. <laughs> it missed itself to death. Yeah, I'm gonna hit by some crit fail. <laughs> okay. Oh, can can it can can it be that that my my bolt that's sticking out of it was the lightning rod? Yeah, that'll work. <laughs> it got hit by so many metallic things. It just it became more conductive. Oh my god. All the insulating fur was burned off when I shot it. I know, I, know, I know where the lightning could have came out of the portal. <laughs> came out of the sure. portal? <laughs> yeah. Just... Hold on, I need to use the bathroom real quick. And you just hear from the behind the portal, it's like, oops. <laughs> <laughs> just, just the cobalt voice going, oops. Yeah. That's, oh man. Okay. It would be DJ's turn, but he's in the bathroom. I, I dropped a bottle of lightning in there. <laughs> oh my god. Then is that making my turn then? Oh, it's DJ's turn. Uh, yeah, we got. We still have would... to wait. Yeah. But um, wait. Are you using the? No, you're not using the glaive at all, huh? You're you're right waiting now, for no. it to become plus one. Exactly. For sure. <clears throat> okay. I Stephanie requested an ice cream sandwich. I think I can get that. Okay. Do it quick. Well, DJ okay. Quick. Thing. Oh, quick. Okay. But um, okay. The 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 DC is thirteen for the hits. I'll go get water then. So their just... their AC is thirteen. Yeah, uh, it's okay. DJ's turn, and then it's your turn, Shadeen. I'll be back. Mm -hmm. What I missed? David went to get nice from sandwich for Stephanie. It's your turn, by the way. Oh, it's my turn? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, dang. Okay. Oh, in that case, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Um, I'm gonna try my running spear chuck thing again. <laughs> spear chuck thing. <laughs> okay. We'll say add your athletics to the spear throw for damage, if you hit. I don't think I hit. What did you roll? Three. Yeah, no. Yeah. The, the all bears have an AC of 13. Uh-huh. I, I get plus seven because it's a ranged attack, but nah. But you still it's threw it, so yeah. is it like gone now? You, next you threw, it's like it's stuck on the ground somewhere next to it. Like draw where the spear got stuck. It whizzes past and like goes right here. Spear in the floor. Pink spear on the floor. At by at this at this point, DJ is basically unarmed right now. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Muscle. Oh no, I have a club in reserve. Okay. <laughs> I, was th- I was thinking. I was thinking what, what, like, what would a, what would a guardsman have? He would have a, a lethal weapon and a non-lethal weapon and a lethal range weapon. Mm-hmm. Lethal weapon. Four. <laughs> the one where Mel Gibson still doesn't die. Is that the one with uh, Jet Li? I don't know. That is the one with Jet Li. Mm-hmm. I've only seen snippets of them, to be honest. I think that might have been Jet Li's uh, U.S. breakout role. It was. <clears throat> I mean, he was still famous for the yeah. Once Upon a Time in China series, but nevertheless, yeah. Well, yeah, I know mean, he was famous, but like not in U.S. No, no, not in the United States. I like kung fu movies. <laughs> I like so do uh, I. And I like the people who do kung fu movies. Me too. They're like superheroes. Except. Actually, in a way, yeah. Growing up, watching them, I'm like, oh man, that's so cool. Yeah. And then when you find out that some of them even do their own stunts, you're like, what the mm-hmm. fuck? That's even cooler, man. <laughs> Did you know Jackie Chan bro- has broken like every bone in his body? Yeah. Twice. Because he does every scene until it's perfect. Yeah. He doesn't do that anymore, really, but when he directed he, his movies in China, he's gotten so hurt. I don't blame him. Yeah. He deserves to be retired from that shit. Mm-hmm. He had a good run. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Isn't but there who, one, I think it was, it might have been one of those police stories where he slides down the giant. Yes. And like, yeah. The first police story. Yeah. Yeah. And like he gets electrocuted on the way down. Mm hmm. Which is crazy because like his hands didn't have their skin anymore, <laughs> and like, but he didn't feel it at first because he was he just had that rush of adrenaline. He had he did that in three takes, by the way. Damn! Ouch! That guy's a beast, dude. Just straight up animal. <clears throat> He does another one where he like jumps from somewhere high and he only has like a few uh aprons to break his fall. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I know. I know that one too. He took a few takes on that one and he hurt, he really hurt his neck mm-hmm. on one of those. What a ballsy man. I actually really like the story Jackie Chan talked about with Police Story. Because uh-huh. he, he said that, um, like, once I give a look uh, or a nod to the camera, you guys start rolling. And so yeah. he just kind of looked down and looked back up, and they thought he nodded. And he's like, oh, shoot, because, like, all the film reels started rolling. Yep. And, like, it's super expensive. Yep. So he's like, screw it. <laughs> yeah. The, but did you know the one that Jump. almost killed him? Um, was it the one where he landed on his neck? No, it was the one where he landed on his head. Uh, I think that's the one I'm talking about. Yep. <clears throat> he only had like a couple aprons to break his fall before I, hitting the I am back. Okay. Welcome back. I tried. I tried to run and throw my spear like I did that one time. Mm. I rolled the four, so Sweet. he assumed I missed. And it turned into a pig on the floor. <laughs> that, 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 that is where the spear is right now. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you missed me. It's all good. Whose turn is it? Is it my turn? I haven't gone yet. Okay, I'm go. I'm gonna go with my shtick of casting frostbite on it again. I'm gonna debuff them all day. Okay. Uh, it's the Constitution save again. That's what sixteen. Eighteen. Eighteen. I know sixteen. <laughs> 19 this whole time. <laughs> They've really been missing. Three. <clears throat> well, roll the damage. D6 for damage. That's I rolled a uh, D6 for damage. With a very. A three. Uh, very elaborate mask. Alright. A three has no. Disadvantage on the next roll. Attack roll. Alright. 
So it is now uh, EK's turn. Is he going to one-shot this? Probably. All righty. So I look deep into the owl's eyes, and I was like, you know what, man? I want to encourage you to. And I bring up my axe, and I aim for its gut. Okay. Eleven plus what? Seven. <clears throat> That's a hit. All right, and I don't know what D twelve <clears throat> two plus five seven. Seven. Seven mm -hmm. damage. All right. This thing's probably still up and about. Oh yeah, you cleave it on the side. And you, you make a pretty nice gash, but it's still standing. Damn it. There's no well, have nice rolls. Is it Albert's turn? No, it's Christian's turn. Okay. My turn. Mm -hmm. Let's see. One, two, four, five. And then, because, <clears throat> uh, I mean, I've used everything, except for, I have one more Bardic Inspiration to use before a long rest. Maybe save it. Yeah, I'll save it. Um, okay, I'll just go for a <clears throat> melee hit then. Okay, go ahead and move. Twenty. Oh Another crit. <laughs> oh, man. Roll it again. Mm. All or nothing. All or Two. nothing. <laughs> oh, that was really close. <laughs> that was close, but you still get double Ds. Double Ds. Uh, oh, roll D eight. Come on, something good. Seven, Seven, Seven plus two. two. Nine times Nine. two. Eighteen again. <clears throat> I thought it. I, I thought it was just double the roll, and then we had the modifier. Double uh, the roll and modify as that crit sword? I might be doing it wrong. Well, we'll go with uh, what you said, 18. Mm -hmm. Okay. Damn. That's what we did last time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. The right. roll. We did the, the roll plus the modifier times two. Mm -hmm. All right. You hit it for 18 damage. This thing is basically skewered. But is it still breathing? It is still breathing. Probably only out of one lung at this point. <laughs> <laughs> you stab it repeatedly like the R.O.U.S. in the Princess Bride. <laughs> <laughs> it is now uh, the Owlbear's turn. Mm. Okay. Wait, it's still up? Yeah, yeah it's still yeah, up. It's still alive. These are tanky. These are pretty tanky. Uh, I plan on making some quick encounters too, don't worry. But these okay, are sure. these are pretty beefy. But I kind of wanted to gauge what you guys can handle. Mm -hmm. In this case, quite a bit. Um, no, not much at all. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> getting getting tired Josh, of uh, Josh of... was barely wounded, but he's still barely playing. wounded. I think you mean the term of fairly wounded. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he had a one hit point left. Exactly. That was barely wounded. Yeah. These things hit and. I feel like we need some threats. So, this one turns to Christian being the last thing that attacked him. Mm -hmm. He's getting tired of trying to hit this this dodgy orc that keeps taunting him. <laughs> <laughs> 17. Oh, that that's, a, that's a hit. That's a hit. That's a hit. Alright. Anyway, it attempts to attack you with its beak, which, <laughs> I mean, I, ideally will not hurt as much as the claws. It's actually a 1d10. Plus five. Three. Eight damage. You get set to basically. It gives you a nibble. <laughs> you're at it seven takes, health. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. It takes a peck out of you, but you're still. still wait, 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 wait. Roll it again. I forgot frostbite. Oh, yeah. yeah. Disadvantage roll. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Time for it to just is... check my lightning. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. 
Not come bad on, again. Ten. Oh, come on, God. Ten. Come on, Ten. Come on, Ten. Bust out the 2D20s. Come on, Ten. This was oh. twice Six, my Frostbite. 60, 64. What random horrible thing happened. This was twice happens. my Frostbite. They gave them, like, <laughs> one. Oh my god, this thing is going to be a sitting duck. Because of blood loss and exhaustion, you are not able to make an action that isn't a reaction or movement until the end of the encounter. <laughs> oh, it's, basically, basically, it's basically just like sitting. dying. Just laying there dying. It's gasping hey, for guys, breath. How do, I rotate, how do I rotate this onto the side? Quick kick it! Yeah. <laughs> kick it to death. Wait, Keep kicking is it. Is it open right now? Can anyone do anything? Uh, yeah, basically. We can do yeah. anything now. <laughs> Okay, can I roll? Well, I think we still have to. Wait, do we Kill still it. have to go initiative? At this point, no. It's sitting I, duck. I roll to. It's at your mercy. Bite out its throat with my mouth. <laughs> uh oh. Uh, it'll be a little tough considering the feather fur, but go for it. Alrighty, come on. Higher than 15. Let's do it. Fuck. <laughs> You just take a little nibble. You got a mouthful of fur. <laughs> you start to bite it, and you end up, you end up seemingly just, you give it a hickey. <laughs> it's confused and hurt and you angry. Can, you need to, you need to like vigorously feels, roll it. It feels violated. Or use R. If you just press R on it, it'll. Hold on. Oh, I know exactly times. how to take care of this. I walk up to it. I take out the dagger from my hand. I want to bury it inside its head. Wow. Okay. Basically ending the encounter. <laughs> roll. It's gonna roll persuasion. It looks at you with with cute giant owl it, eyes. I, it. I. I have an intense hatred of owlbears. The DC would be like insane. <laughs> we'll make the DC twenty. Watch this be a twenty. <laughs> no. A two. <laughs> All right, you get your dagger ready, and as you're about to plunge it, you just have flashbacks to your childhood. For some reason, you just hear you hear someone go, Papa! <laughs> and you feel a sense of pride and accomplishment. Someone, someone goes, Papa. <laughs> not even, not even. Yeah, just family, someone. family. <laughs> yeah. All right, that is three owlbears done. You're, you're supposed to say it one time. Like it. Experience say it one time. Uh, Jesus Christ! Hang on. That's a there's horrible the one liner, liner here. I'm just, I'm just so angry right now. There's no, there's no one liner. <laughs> well, that owl barely made it. That was <laughs> very far. What? Uh, I start, I start. Uh, <laughs> who would have? That wasn't. Thought? That wasn't. <laughs> I, I start. I basically just look at. I basically look at the scene around me and I start cracking up. Who would have thought we would have barely made it through? All right, that is what five people playing, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Each Albert gives how much experience? A very nice amount. And just in time, I caught a shiny bagel. <laughs> you <laughs> all gained four hundred and twenty experience. Four twenty. Yes, each. Four each. 20. Damn, dude, these things are CR threes, and you took on three of them. Four twenty. Plus the, first, the first couple levels are meant to be quick, but I mean, with ET now, you guys are probably gonna move quick. Okay, I'm at 740 experience. 420 plus 335. Alright. 755. I want to rip out its owl eyes. Why? <laughs> As a souvenir. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're almost level 3, guys. God damn. Yeah. yeah. Remember, you, you can't reroll ever again if you're level three. So if you want to reroll now, now's the time. Now's the time. <laughs> you can roll. Yeah, we'll I'm, let you roll as you level up. That, that, that'll be the last time you can reroll. Alrighty. So this is my real roll right here. Let's go. For what? Roll, roll for taking eyes out of Owlbear. Well, that's I, mean, I mean, it's just it's just a matter of time. Three. It's just a matter of time at this rate, unless you like completely destroy them while you're he trying to kill them. probably did just now. Hang on, what's your survival? Plus two, five. Three plus two. Five. <laughs> so you so you manage to rip it out, but you crush the eyes the, in your head. The eye in your hand, it just pops into a mush. <laughs> uh, I I'm... rolled to take its head off and put it back. <laughs> and. Yep. Yeah. My, 
Devin kind of just the uh, like comments to himself. These people, these people hate owlbears. <laughs> so you manage to rip its head off, but considering you only have a loincloth and the weapons on you, you do not have a sack. Damn it. If what only happened? someone had extra sacks. What happened to the sack that had the glaive in it? With the It still has the ash in it. I mean, yeah, you could, you could you put the put... head in it too. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm going to put it in there. Okay, I'm not sure for what purpose, but we'll, we'll it's just... A sack I with a glaive. I am a collector. It's a sack with a glaive and a dragon... Dragon book ashes. ashes. Book dragon ashes and a bloody alder head in it. Okay. With no eyes. Well, no actually, eyes. let me look. Well, the, there, there's a very specific amount of, like, space that it can take up. Let's see here. Sack. Come on. Sack. No. No. I didn't want you to do that. Oh, man. Uh, one, so it's one cubic foot. So I don't think... I don't think the owlbear, owlbear head is going to fit in there. It would not. But... You guys get loot, so let me make the table. Like, can you hollow out the head and like wear as a helmet? <laughs> <gasps> That's a great idea. We you can spend like, the next short or long rest like hollowing it out and making a helmet out of it. Jesus Christ! Oh yeah, <laughs> aren't we like surrounded by crates and shit? Yeah. We can roll to search those crates. You probably need yes. an armor smith or something. Good thing Just I have it. points in that. Mm, makes sense. Okay, oh, roll I mean, for loot. Makes sense. Yeah, I'm rolling for loot right now. It's already head shaped. You gain. <laughs> looks like three. The bear's back. <laughs> Thirty-three <laughs> copper pieces. Twenty-three copper pieces. What the fuck? I'm not done. Don't worry. <laughs> was Jeez. it in like in their stomach? Yeah, twelve silver pieces. And considering you just cleared out a what looks like a warehouse full of loot, you actually get a treasure hoard, <gasps> which is amazing. A treasure hoard. So, treasure hoard. This might be completely useless shit, but we're gonna roll it. Oh god. Do we each <laughs> get a thing? Be... It's it's the hoard of grease. It's a treasure hoard to be split with everybody. <laughs> I you just get a grease. <laughs> you get a you get a grease. <laughs> a grease. A giant pile of grease. No, I get like the, the thing we have the water, but it just shoots grease. <laughs> Treasure hoard. You gain. It looks like. Ooh, you gain 11 gems, which are each worth about 10 gold. Ooh. Okay. And. Each? You gain. No, between the, everybody. And it looks like a single magical, weak magical item. Which in this case would be. Close, close, yeah. close, and close with pockets. 57. It is a spell scroll of the cantrip. Oh, I can't use that. Spell, spell scroll of what? It's a cantrip. But what cantrip? It's just a, it's just a cantrip spell scroll? Yeah. Um, just any any cantrip, or do you have to roll to generate that as well? We could probably roll to generate it, or we can just make it Eldritch Blast so it's useless to Josh. <laughs> Why would you do that? <laughs> That's up to the DM, so... Hang on. I need four goals to cantrips. I got this. How does the spell scroll even work? Is it one-time use or something? One-time use. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Oh, so how much how much money how much like actual coins did we get again? So we can divide that. Divide that. that. Like twenty three gold pieces or not a gold uh copper, copper pieces and like Yeah, we'll say we'll say like twenty five silver pieces and then you found gems worth about what is eleven it, gems. Uh, which is hundred and ten gold once you find somewhere to sell it. So there's I would say five of, us. five of us. Each person gets two plus EK gets an extra for doing all that work. <laughs> yeah, um sure. it. He needs it for equipment anyway. Mm -hmm. Get back to town. I what, need it for close. What are we EK, getting? EK gets three gems. We all each each of us gets two gems. Two gems. And then and two then ten GP gems. Two ten GP gems. And then five silver pieces each. Mm -hmm. And five silver pieces each. So I'm at twenty four silver pieces. Okay, cool. Twenty eight for me. Five silver pieces each. Is that what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And 
two ten GP gems for everybody. And three for EK. Two. Okay. Nice. Oh man. I would have had enough to buy a, a rapier. Good thing I already have it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You're just like, oh no. So what is the what's the spell it's, scroll? Are these chalk outlines for dice? Do these dice die? Oh well, man, if it's something good, we could actually, you know, I don't know, it could be something good. Get it? These these dice died. It could be like something we don't have, like a druid a druid spell or some druid cantrip or something. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I'm fine in it. I need to roll real quick one too. Mm. Let's see. It might be useless, but we'll see. It's worth we'll a see. look to see what we rolled anyway. 18. Oh. You gained Thunderclap. That's Thundercloud. Thundercloud. Mm, Thundercloud. Thundercloud. Okay. What does that so, do? Thunderclap is basically a kind of dangerous to use in a group. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you create a burst of thunderous sound, which can be heard 100 feet away. Each creature other than you within 5 feet must make a constitution saving throw, and on a failed save, they take 1d6 thunder damage. Each creature near you. <laughs> yes. Yeah. It has to be 5 feet near you. So they have to be just one well, square away from no, you. Which... Yeah, basically. But, but the noise can be heard 100 feet away. Mm. Mm -hmm. So we can use yeah. a distraction can... or something. Yeah. It's or, said, if uh, or if you're surrounded, mm -hmm. I say I say we give it to Ek because he has the m most chance of being surrounded by things. <laughs> That's fair. Does he have the intelligence to read it? Oh, uh, I didn't think of that. <laughs> considering his roles, let's see. He's at ten intelligence. He's an average, so yeah. Okay, he'd be fine. He's not I a am so smart. I am so smart. Yeah, he's so smart. smart. <laughs> You're probably like a cantrip level spell, so yeah. Yeah, plus it's it was just like a... it was like a high level spell, probably not. Yeah. Well, considering we can't sell magical items, it's not very useful to me. So I found out that you can, but you would it would take time. You would basically have to spend gold. To see if someone's willing to get it, and then it's a random roll to see if people are willing to pay you value for it, or if you'd Basically rather not just. Worth it. <laughs> it could be because I mean, you could, you could, you would invest like twenty five gold, and a common item would be worth a hundred gold. Mm. So I mean, it's, as long it's, as it's someone's a willing to, a little bit, but it's an option. Okay. So, so you take another look at your surroundings, and it's mostly miscellaneous, useless items, like tiny vials of grease. Um, <laughs> and sense. other various <laughs> and other various items. Uh, the cobalt that were here appeared to have fled entirely, um, and the owlbears were the only things left. And we're so, outside. Yes, somewhere. So taking, a, taking a look at where you are, it seems you are out in an area near a forest. You have a, a fence surrounding the portal itself, with two entrances on both sides, and the the forest itself looks oddly familiar, but you're not sure why. But you could make a check to find out. Can I <clears throat> make a... What is it? Hmm. What would be the role to check, then? Investigation? Uh, in this case, I'll go with survival, just because it's about getting your bearings. Okay, I have plus one to survival, so I'm not going to do that. Uh, let me see, I have plus one as well. Where's the highest survival? Uh, it's like we're mostly city slippers around here. Yeah, yeah. No, I have plus okay. one to have zero. Okay, so I guess I'll, about, just, about I'll just yeah. Wait, we'll just what's your survival's survival uh, modifier? Uh, he's got plus two. Mm. Plus one. Man. He's slightly better than us <laughs> at survival. <laughs> and roll for it. Yes. He is rolling for survival to check where we're at. What's up? I actually have a thing called danger sensing. That's, that's fine too. <laughs> we're well, just about just kind of getting your bearings. Yeah, like where we are in the world and stuff. 
Mm. We're asking you to roll it because you you seem like a traveled type. Yeah, also, so, so I would like to. I would like to. I would like to roll to. Uh, yeah, where's your D twenty? What the hell? I would like to roll to try oh. to recover, to try to there recover that that crossbow <laughs> bolt that was inside that L bear. Roll it. Snap in half. <laughs> Snap in half. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, we might regret using this table, but for now, until something what? goes horribly wrong. Why is there a table for this? I, I pulled a crossbow bolt out of a body. What's the worst that can happen? You pulled too hard, <laughs> fell over backwards. Let's see. Dying. That's the worst thing. <laughs> I swear if it gets hit by lightning. <laughs> <laughs> I, call, I call bullshit unless it has anything to do with attic that actually happened. Okay, I'm going to not do this because you would lose a limb. What? <laughs> <laughs> Holy we, will, fucking... we will make this combat related crit fails only. Yeah. What was it though? You lose a limb. It can only be re regained by extreme means determined by the DM. But how would you? And... Like, how like, would you lose the limb before you, you crossbow bolt? Like, you tried to take it out of the, the owlbear's mouth, and it just, like, slammed shut on you. Why don't we just say he, he pulled it too hard, fell backwards, hit his head? Mm. Ouch, I took two That's, damage. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Something worthy of a one, though. Yeah. One is apocalyptic level shit. No, it's not! It's one in twenty chance. <laughs> it's a twenty percent chance of failure. What if you roll another one? <laughs> That's an instant <laughs> death. <laughs> Why would you it's... ever? Alright, okay, so what am I rolling see. for again? Survival. Okay, mm, looks like. Still a three. And... Twelve. Well, Twelve, and then Plus let's see two. how much I got for survival. Plus two. I'll just, I just wrote it off as lost. I have 17 crossbow yep. bolts now. <laughs> I up will work spear. on something to help you, man. Roll just to pick up your spear. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, that, you just yeah, pick that's, up your spear. Yeah, but it's out, it's out of the ground. No, I know. I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> up his, you, you break that one, too. When you <laughs> yeah. You, I wouldn't be rip. surprised, but we're just going to let you it. You grip it too it's tightly. All like it, it's not like it has a really thin wooden shaft that can break. It's quite sturdy. <laughs> okay, so what does EK's 14 roll do? So rolling a 14, he gains the bearings and, go, and realizes these are the forests north of the city that you were, or the town that you were in just now. How is, um, how is how does he how do you relay this information to us? He well he goes like hey this this was, is these are the same forests. I was just like oh, yeah, Ek uh, told us. I, was, <laughs> yeah. I know, but I was gonna like I wanted to see if he had anything interesting to say about it. Uh, I know we have high hopes for him, but he's not responding. <laughs> <laughs> oh, alrighty, fresh air. I juice all over my hands. <laughs> Formerly onto my hands. All right, let's see what we can do. <laughs> wow. Is that a town? Yes. I'm in need of clothing. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, will it would it take longer to to go up through the stairs and then into the city, or would it take longer to just go south into the city? Considering the kobolds know who we are, and I'd be more prudent to go through the forest. I suppose. I suppose you will. Alrighty. I roll to sense for danger. Okay, go ahead and roll. And fuck your couch. Just... 17. <laughs> 17. And then, I guess perception, which is plus two. But I do have danger sense, but I don't know no, what no, that is. No, no, no. You gotta roll for wisdom. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, roll for it's been a joke. We I don't, had, I don't uh, know. Our other players always been Perce perception is a wisdom check, though. <laughs> I know. So okay. roll seventeen. So roll seventeen as you start to head towards town. You notice that the hair stands on the neck, on the back of your neck. There is no visible danger, but you're noticing that a fog is beginning to form. Um, you get the sense that if you turn back now, there would be trouble. But if you head towards the town, nothing would happen. To the town! I need a rest. Hold on, hold on. But I only I know this, right? So yes. Far? God damn okay. it. You guys, I think we should turn back and figure out... <laughs> <laughs> 
but but but, what, like a... but it looks like it's going to rain. Look at these clouds. Yeah, this but fog. It's a it's a heavy fog that's beginning to form. Now trust me, I understand this, and I hear all of you, because we're all the part of the team, and I treasure all of you. But my chest really hurts, and I need some time in order to bandage this stuff. So I think we should just, I uh, screw it. There's something fishy going on. Let's just go to town. Yes, I agree. <laughs> Let's just go to town. I mean, we're very close to town, so you can right. we can get you patched up once we're once we're I back need to get there. patched up too. Okay, and what did I get again? What did you guys say I got? You got stuff? three three oh. gems worth mm -hmm. ten gold pieces. And you also got uh, was it five gold? Or five five, five silver. silver. Five silver pieces. Yeah. Five silver and then three, three gems. Three, three gems, gems each worth ten GP. Okay. All right. So you so you continue walking through the fog and you make your way back towards town. As you look behind you, you notice the fog is almost as if it's an entire wall, and you're not sure if there is a way back. Man, I hope nothing trumps our journey here with this wall. <laughs> <laughs> Careful or I'll make you pay for it, man. <laughs> <laughs> so you make it back towards town. What are these buildings? Yeah, it was just a really shitty overworld drawing. Oh, okay. Is it overworld drawings? Okay. Yeah. So this, is this the forest where I'm pointing? The forest is like, yeah, over here, that's okay. like the fog, and that's where you emerged. Mm, okay, so this is the town? Yeah, so we're gonna just do an overworld type thing. So you had, you had the in right here. You had the in and out, and then you had the in and out armory. And you have the, the shitty <laughs> weapon shop. The armory. We had a name for it, didn't we? Or no? If not, wasn't that wasn't the in and out the brothel? Yeah, yeah. It was the in and out the brothel. The the fake brothel that got replaced by the <laughs> weapon shop. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but we're what about... make, we'll we'll name the weapon shop uh, Bloodbath and Beyond. Wow. <laughs> and we have the ex exploded warehouse right there. But what about Castle Fort Keep? Castle Fort Keep. Yeah, that's the name of the town, Castle Fort Keep. <laughs> <laughs> no, we'll, we'll make the name of the town Boar here. Br Bradle. Bradle. Bradle Bar. Actually, we'll make it Or Where. The, uh, where the, 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 the town's name is Tutorial. Sorry, <laughs> uh, no, the town's name is where or where or where, sure. Yeah. And uh, to the north, if you manage to get out of this forest, is uh, or there that way we can have some uh, interesting conversations. Where's the, <laughs> where's the city? Uh, I mean, yeah, it's where, where, yeah, where. The city's name is uh, over there. <laughs> over there. Yep. And then, uh, did we give a name to the inn? Yeah, no, we did not. It's Innsmouth. <laughs> Innsmouth is fine. Innsmouth Inn. Okay. <laughs> it's just, it's just, an, it's on on the sign is a an anthropomorphized inn eating a smaller inn. Yeah. <laughs> Their 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 mascot is basically a mimic. Yep. Okay. So you make it back to town. Um, so there's still the matter of possibly going back to Santana. Um, Let's say we rest up first. Yeah, yes, and buy up. things. Mm -hmm. Especially right. EK. It's the buy <laughs> Clothing, yes. all that stuff. Well, all right. Other useful some, things. Some sacks. So what, what, also, what time of day is it? Uh, it's getting to the late afternoon, so we'll say it's getting close to sunset, but so you guys will have time to shop if you want. Mm -hmm. okay. The the walk from the from the, the the clearing that you came out of back into town didn't actually take all that long, but okay, it doesn't so, look like there's a way back. So overall, since we began the campaign, how much how many days have passed? Two. It's been, it's been two. This is the third day. Okay, so. Alright, so Three which one is the rations. I think it's just one. Alright, 
Yeah, this uh, which one is the shop where I can buy stuff? Blood Bath and Beyond is right there. Whichever one. And can I get clothes and stuff there? Yes. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Right, Blood Bath and Beyond, the Beyond section is where you gotta go. I'm gonna pay a silver piece for a bunch of ale. And just drink for a while. Okay. <laughs> Alright, yeah. so EK, is you, so you get into Blood Bath and Beyond, they go, Welcome to Blood Bath and Beyond. Are you preparing for a Blood Bath or Beyond? What can we help you with? Oh man, so check it out. I got this wicked sweet chest on my scar. And I really need <laughs> <laughs> I think you got a knock to your head too. Uh, you, have a tattoo, you have a tattoo of a chest on your scar on your chest? <laughs> exactly. And I dire need of, well, it should be obvious, but underwear and a bigger axe. So <laughs> and a I bigger need, ass. I need both those things. How can I acquire these items? And can you give it to me? And if you do not listen, then to hell with you. Okay. Well, do you? How much gold do you have? Do you have anything to sell? I got this ruby. Okay, that'll get you ten gold. So you can work with that. Um, what kind of uh, armor are you looking for? Light, medium, heavy? Alright. See, I'm a barbarian, so probably lighter armor would benefit me more. Yeah. More you, proficient you, you, you've got padded, leather, and studded. You could probably afford padded or leather. And uh, Their AC is 11 plus your dexterity, though. 11 plus my dexterity? Yeah. That's 2. <laughs> That'd be 13. What's your natural armor, dude? You My might natural be better armor off is naked. 16. You're better off naked. <laughs> you really are better off naked. Alrighty. You're you naked work on, unless so you can right. just get some, or just get some like, clothes. Just like clothes. travelers, travelers' clothes or something. Alrighty. Okay, man. So this is what I need. All right. Listen to me when I talk to you. Uh, all right. So what I need is this. I need rope. Two ropes. Don't ask me length. Just get me two ropes. And then I need throwing knives. And then after that, clothes. Preferably uh, muddy black clothes. And if you have black clothes, just make them muddy. And then I need a helmet with two horns in it. And then some magic potions to heal my chest. And then shoes. <laughs> shoes are good. Also socks. I don't want athlete's foot. And then, um, where would I prove your weapons? And what's the biggest, cheapest weapon that you got? It's a log. <laughs> oh, man. What happened? I went to the bathroom. Okay, so... He says buying things. So, we don't... I don't... You don't have enough money for all of that. But we've got some cheap stuff. You well, want... I would, I would suggest, um, out of character, of course, mm -hmm. I would suggest buying a, an explorer's pack. It comes with a lot of your basics, including the 50 feet of hemp and rope. It's also got a backpack, a bedroll, mess kit, tinderbox, 10 torches, 10 days of rations, and a water skin. You have 10 gold pieces. Buy an explorer's pack. Well, I have, I have 30 gold plus the... Plus the silver. Plus so the it's silver, basically 32 and a half other... gold. And your well, other and your rubies that you've got. Well, you got three uh, rubies, so you got 60, 60 gold worth of the gold of money. If you want the money. if you want the biggest heaviest weapon for cheap, we've got the pike. It's only five gold and it weighs eighteen pounds. It does one d ten piercing damage. No and you get attacks. and you get reach. You get reach because it's a pole arm. Mm -hmm. Buddy likes his battle axe better. I do. Yeah. That's a one d twelve. If we have a 1d20, that would have been better. A battle, no, a battle axe is 1d8. One D, one D no, it's a great axe, not, not, great axe, not battle axe. Oh, okay. Axe. I see what you're talking about. Okay. Um, Alright, so I will... I'll get the Explorer's Pack. Okay, 10 and, gold. And then I'll get 5 so very... Now listen to me. Very large sacks. <laughs> We're in luck. We happen to have many large sacks. We actually had an adventure that came in and bought quite a few. No, look look um, at me, okay? Mm -hmm. I want to be able to put my testicles into these sacks. They're large. You don't believe me? I licked owlbear eyes from their skull. 
Well, considering a regular side sack is one copper piece, we'll say that uh, that a large sack. Ek, yeah, ek size sack sacks are going to be one silver piece. I okay. use all my silver pieces to get all of those sacks. You get twenty-five sacks, and you're carrying <laughs> twelve and a half pounds worth of sacks. <laughs> I, thought I, had, I thought I have five silver pieces. Oh, I'll take oh right, right. No, I, I see. What you're, my bad. Yeah. So you just want yeah. five, five sacks? Five very large sacks. You're carrying Huge. four and two and a half pounds worth of sacks. Yes. Now, as for your your throwing daggers, you could get you could get the daggers, or you could get hand axes. Which they're they're three gold more each, but they do one d six slashing instead of one d four piercing. Mm-hmm. Or do you guys have any poisons? No, no one is an no one is a herbal list here. Dang it! Hmm. Like we don't have any any poisons, but we do have this vial of acid. It's twenty five gold. But does you could probably does... throw it at somebody once. Mm. <laughs> I was thinking more about putting it on my weapon. And then cutting someone with it. Hmm. Metal doesn't melt with acid. Unless it's xenomorph acid. And then I guess it really depends on what type of acid. But now I'm becoming more like Deadpool, which is not what I want to do. So Well, if we ever if we ever run into undead, you can put holy water in your weapon. Holy water's kinda of pricey, it's twenty five. Damn. Damn, dude. Hmm. No. You got me by the balls here, Bed Bath and Beyond. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. All right, so just give me the Explorer Pack, the five large sacks. Um, you have health potions? We do. Those are pretty costly. Um, God damn it! Yeah, you, you should probably. Just... How much should... are they? I mean, you they're... you could just do a long rest and you you get yeah. Because your... it. In in game, the the potions of healing start at fifty gold. Yeah, I can understand that. Actually, hmm. Do you have the what is your strongest liquor? And can I have some flint and some some flint with that? We don't have liquor, but we do have the flint. You the liquor you'll have to get at the bar. Yeah, I was. Right. I I come up I come up behind and I say, yeah, these uh these barbarians don't have any. Don't have any proper uh, hard liquor here. Sorry about that. Dag, fucking nabbit. All I want to do is spit fire on my enemies. <clears throat> I come over here too and say, <laughs> yeah, I've, I've I've drunk their fair share of liquor here. It's very watered down. All right. So I'll get all that stuff and then I'll let everyone else do their thing. All right. Add those to your to your list. Yeah. What else does everyone do? Put it in the text thing. I'll be right back. I'm going to the bathroom. For sure. Let me. I'll tell you that up for him. For sure. Are there, are there other kinds of light armor other than leather? Uh, there, yeah, the, and... Padded leather there, and studded there, leather. There, there is padded leather and then studded leather. Studded leather costs 45, but it is one more AC plus your dexterity mod. So, I mean, it's there, but it's, it's not cost efficient unless you've got a bunch of gold. Uh... Because what's your dexterity mod? My dexterity modifier? Mm-hmm. Four. Four. Um, yeah, so you're better off with light, because if you go to medium, then the max you can get for your dex mod is two. All right. I guess I'll stick with leather, then. For now, I guess. That could work. Unless have... I don't know, I don't know if we need if this is a mechanic we're actually gonna do. But just in case, I bought some whetstones when I was getting my character stuff. Uh, mm-hmm. So if we or ever need, if we weapon need, maintenance, yeah, if our shit's dull, I can sharpen it up for you. Okay, yeah, we'll say for the most part it'll work unless there's a crit fail or some. Well, I don't know about the crit fails, but if I just we, we I have to use I misuse it and have to use another whetstone. Yeah, we'll we'll set it where you mu- yeah you might have to eventually, but okay. for the most part we'll generally not be keeping track of that. For sure. Maybe like yeah maybe if there's a critical failure and like one of our weapons gets, uh like damaged. Uh-huh. Or eh, well, 
if it's damaged that bad, I don't think sharpening it would help. I don't know. We'll we'll let the sharpening just give a bonus occasionally. If you like really want to prep before a fight, we'll give it a plus one. Okay. Does, does Bloodbath and Beyond sell instruments? Uh, they do. It, it's like a general. Or... It's like a general store that is mostly a weapon store, but they have everything else too. It's the Beyond <laughs> section, dude. <but... laughs> Three quarters of the store is the Beyond. I understand. Yeah, it's a good Beyond section. Do you do you have uh, a flute and a lute, my good sir? Let me take a look in our section. We have a very large Beyond section, but I'm not very good at keeping track of it. I just want the other instruments I'm proficient at. <laughs> I remember instruments being pretty costly. Hey guys, hold mm -hmm. on a sec. I have a question. Mm -hmm. So we can all agree I have a lot of strength, right? Mm -hmm. Can I dual wield great axes? Uh, great axes are, are, are two handed weapons, you can't. <laughs> you can get a feat that'll make you a master at using two handed weapons, though. Mm -hmm. But you'll have to wait to get that. I kind of want to let him. That sounds ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I don't want him to be so overpowered. It feels here's like the thing. Else is I, I, will, I will happily. How about this? If you let me. Do the great axe thing, we'll get rid of the plus five. Yeah, I was gonna say it should be a penalty to hit. If penalty to hit and a penalty to movement too, because he's well, so encumbered by the axes. Well, you say that, but I have like almost nothing else. This is true. This is true. Yeah, just get rid of the plus to hit. Yeah. Just, just make yeah, them regular, that's regular really hit rolls. Yeah, just make would... them regular hit rolls. Yeah, because otherwise it would be one D well two D twelve plus ten. So just make mm. it two D twelve. Just just two D twelve for for damage. Exactly. Okay, so you bought the explorers pack and the very large sacks, right? That was it. Pretty much, yeah. Okay, so you have. And how into this are we? Are we are we doing runes yet, or is that just like like fifty levels away from where we're at right now? Probably fifty so levels. Are later, yes. Okay, so that is how much money you have spent, and that is how much stuff you should add to your, um, to your inventory sheet. Yeah. Okay, so they find the, the they find the musical instrument section far in the beyond section. Uh, if you were on the outer map, somehow you're over here, but you're still in the room. How how much are crossbows, by the way? Crossbows aren't Ooh, too, too much. much. Let me see. But light, the light crossbow is pretty inexpensive. I'm proficient at crossbows too. Light crossbow is twenty five gold. Ooh, you should. Oh, ooh, ooh. Mm. <laughs> I don't know. What to do. <laughs> Over there. Calm down a little. Sorry. I, whoa, whoa. I, I just got excited because <laughs> if you do this, is something I was thinking about doing, but I decided against it. But I think it'd be really cool for your character. Uh, uh, when you get feats, you can pick up the. Uh, crossbow expert feat, like I'm going to. One of the uh, one of the features of that feat is when you use the attack action and attack with a one-handed weapon, you can use a bonus action to attack with a loaded hand crossbow. Uh -huh. So you can you can attack with your hand crossbow and your rapier at the same on the same turn. Which of is... course, that uses your bonus action, but mm -hmm. you, can, is... you can be a Geralt with your <laughs> hand crossbow. Yeah. And then next turn you could reload it and then attack with your melee. Buy your buy yourself one of those. Uh... Although what you, they call them? you ignore the loading quality of crossbows with which you are proficient, so that oh. means you you can you can load it once per turn without penalty. Mm. Nice. Which is why I need that because I need I, I'm tired of like shooting it and then ditching it because <laughs> I don't want to spend the turn to reload it. All right. So what kind of crossbow am I buying? A hand crossbow. If you want that, it, it's on. It's the most expensive one, actually, I believe. Yeah, Gabrielle, the Golden Witcher. How much? Ooh, yeah, seventy-five. Gold. <laughs> so you're gonna want the. You're gonna want to stick to the light crossbow for now. Twenty-five gold. Or the heavy for fifty, but that's that's, that's a two probably hand. all your money. Well, the, the light yeah. is also a two-hand though. Um, you can't. You can't. You can't, yeah, shoot. It you can't is. use a weapon. And you can't cast spells you have equipped because you need 
If a, if a spell has somatic component, you need your hands free to do it. Yeah. Um, all right, I'll just. Uh, what is that noise? What the <laughs> fuck is that? What do I feel like I've heard that before? <laughs> yeah, EK's microphone does that. It starts. Okay, I'll, I'll just do. Uh, what is it? My crossbow for now? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And How Shopping much? goes, are you sure? We've got bagpipes. Alternatively, only, only well, 30 gold. I'm I'm okay, my good sir. I'm not proficient at bagpipes. <laughs> it wasn't my uh my instrument of choice. Are you sure? It's a I'm, pretty it's a pretty popular instrument around I'm, here. I'm more of a of a flute man myself. I see. Right. Yeah. I'll, I'll uh yeah, so I'll take the uh the light crossbow. All right, you grab the light crossbow. Twenty five gold. Okay. Anyone else want to buy stuff? Uh, yes, I would. I believe. Um, Let me see. Rituals here. work. I would like to buy a um. Let's see here. A scroll case for one gold piece. All right. I would like to buy a, uh, let's see here, where is it at? I would like to buy uh, five sheets of parchment for one silver piece each. All right. And then I'd like to buy a, where is it at? Mm. One ink bottle. For ten gold pieces, and right. a ink pen for two copper pieces. Okay. So you're so, basically prepping to be able to make scrolls. Yeah, it's mostly because like I want to keep them around for like legal purposes. <laughs> if I ever need to like draw up a contract. Yeah, or if I need to like leave a letter to the local constabulary or something. Okay. It actually, you know, it's useful to have shit to write with. I had chalk in my inventory before because I wanted something to write with, but I didn't have the money to <laughs> buy all By the shit. way, quick question. Uh -huh. Does it come with crossbow bolts or do I need you to have, buy? Oh, that's right. You have to buy, you have to buy a crossbow bolt case, which is one gold piece. And then you have to buy the bolts, which are one gold piece for 20. I'll do that. So 17, 17 gold total you've spent? Yes. I got to add my shit up. Oh, okay. I'm going to, after this, I'm going to re-roll some stuff. Re-roll? Because I, I was reading some stuff on the, the Pact of the Tome. Mm -hmm. And I realized I could probably change a couple things to make that fit better. Because I was also reading about how sp spell slots work for warlocks. It's different. I only ever get two, but they're of the highest level I can cast. Mm. Cool. But if I go with a Pact of the Tome at level three, I can learn any ritual spell ever in the game. <laughs> mm -hmm. I have to find it and pay to write it down, but I can learn any and cast them for free. Mm-hmm. Which unseen servant ca counts as one, so I'd rather have that as a ritual in a book rather than having to uh, a slot. <laughs> yeah, rather than having to use a slot for it. And five sheets. Because of... they're ten minute casts, but they're free. Mm -hmm. How many crossbow bolts? Twenty. Twenty for one gold. I already did the the money transaction. I'm just adding the stuff. Five silver pieces. Right, anyone else need to buy stuff? No. I am okay. I am also good. Mm. Let yeah, me see. Ship. Okay, so I have. I've used up one of my gems. So now I have one gem. I used two of my copper pieces, four copper pieces left. I used. No, no. Should I get the X, by the way? 
Okay, you should. Uh, you I thought you already had one. They, they didn't. They didn't have Let's one see. that was better. Oh, you, you could, wanted to buy you, the could, one? you could use your glaive as your offhand weapon. Ooh, that work too, and you would still get those bonuses with the plus one on it. If so it would be a plus five out. and a plus one. Oops. Yeah. Well, no, it would be plus one to. Oh yeah, the plus glaive. one to hit. You're right. You're right. Yeah. I like that better. Matter of fact, yeah, and then demons come out. Why didn't I think about it sooner? Eventually. Yeah, well, you demons in your that. vision. Demons in your vision first. You'd have to attune to it, but... um. How do I attune to it? Uh, You can do it during a short rest. In this case, considering it still needs to be in the corpse for the plus one, Um, I'll let you tune to it in the morning when you guys wake up. Fair you enough. Just take like a half hour. Everyone gets breakfast. You just... You just go in the He's... corner and start communing with demons. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much that. Hmm. When everyone's ready, you can take your rest and go from there. Mm, I go to the bar, get the strongest liquors. Um, I can, because I already got the flints, and then, what else, okay, so I got the great axe, I have the glaive, can I have them make the sheath for the glaive? That would take some time, so if you guys think you're going to still be in the area, you probably could, you'd have to come back the next day for it. That's fine. <clears throat> okay, so for for liquor, or at least in the at least in the game in the game game, I'm sure we can like add we can say they actually have like whiskey or something, but in the in the rule book it says they have ale and wine. That's, That's all they it. have. Yeah. You can buy ale by the gallon or the mug, wine by the pitcher or the bottle. The bottle is 10 gold because it's fine, but a common yeah. picture is two silver pieces. <sighs> or the ale, you can get a whole gallon, two silver pieces. Give me an ale. A gallon. Take a gallon. Deduct two. Do you want anything to go with it, sir? Do you want some bread? Do you want some cheese? You've also got meat chunks. You know what? You're right. Give me... How strong am I? You have 20 strength. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Give me 30 pounds of meat. <laughs> <laughs> that, would be, that would be 9 gold. Yeah. And that's just generic chunks. And that's that gonna go bad. Go yeah. <laughs> matter, you know what? You are correct. Sir. It will go bad. Unless Get you me. eat it all now. But... Get me... 30 pounds of jerked meat. Ooh. That doesn't go bad. That does not. Dried meat? Well, you do. Your your explorer's pack did come with rations that most likely has dried meat in it. Listen, For 10 days. I appreciate that you are my comrade, but you are meat blocking me right now. <laughs> meat blocking. <laughs> I'm just saying you can say, oh, my travel rations for the day is like jerky. I can I I, it's I, chime all up, jerky. I I chime up hearing this in a sec. I can <laughs> I can offer you to freeze it freeze the meat for you. All I am saying is if we're running a dungeon and there's a thing, I can cut a piece of meat out and toss oh, it. Oh, that is a good idea. Yes. Yeah. And 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 like I said, I, I I offered him uh my freezing services. We'll count those as rations, considering meat chunks are only three silver pieces, rations are five, we'll count that as the cost of making a jerky. Mm -hmm. uh, that would be 15 gold if you want. Well, actually, 30 pounds would be 15 of them. Yeah. So that would be 15 gold. Alright, so I spent 10 gold and 5 silver, 15 gold to make it 25. And then All right, I'll, to I'll toss you. Hey, I can't eat for days. Alright, give me that. Give me that shit. Give me that. I'm gonna. Okay. 
So they, they go back and they go into the back and start wondering. It's like shit. I hope we have enough for everyone else living. <laughs> <laughs> they give you thirty. They give you a month's worth of rations. Over the counter, fifteen gold deducted. All right. So I had. Let's... We'll count that as using probably one or two of your sacks. We'll, mm -hmm. we'll make it one. One sack. Yeah. Just one sack full of full of meat. Mm -hmm. um, so those fifteen gold pieces. For the... Yeah, that's fifteen. He okay. basically did not have any money anymore. Is, at the moment. Isn't it nice <laughs> having a treasure hoard, though? Yeah. All right. I think I think that's it. I'm gonna get drunk and talk to demons while eating okay. something. All right. Do I have to kill something? No. No, okay. you still have the, the ashes, which we're going to let count as a corpse one day. So you have now you have now uh, spent 25 gold, 7 silver pieces for the day. And I have 60 total gold and 5 silver pieces? Yeah. So you're going to have to... You, you will have been exchanged some of the silver for that last transaction. Yeah. I'll just say I have 34 gold. Cold. My brain doesn't want to work right now. It's up to 34 cold. Alright, anyone else want to buy anything? Are you good? Go on to the interest? I yeah, am I'd... good. I'd like I'm... to retire to a room. Me too. Yeah, I'm going to use my eight sil my eight silver pieces for my comfortable stay. Me too. Comfortable, comfortable is two gold pieces. Gold pieces uh, or silver pieces? Eight silver pieces. And, oh yeah, I'm just, I was thinking lifestyle expenses. Okay. Where the hell do I put gold in this thing? In your treasure section. Oh yeah, so would you... Uh, my friend Krom, would you like to stay with us in the inn? I mean, you could sit outside like our thrifty warlock friend, but... <laughs> but you might be attacked by the cats. You got lucky last time. I'll do it so. again. Alright. Actually, no, I'm gonna go in the library. Someone hold my backpack. Oh yeah. There's no beds in the library. I'll sleep on the floor oh. in the library. At least it's safe. I'll sleep on the beds. <laughs> it would be the same as camping outside, but it'd be safe. <laughs> as long as you don't snore, you should be fine. I actually have a bed roll. Actually, I wonder if there's a way we can roll to see if you snore. You might snore. <laughs> Why would you? I think that would be like a character trait. Mm -hmm. Yeah, never mind. You're good. I go to uh, yeah, so I go to the I go to the end to start the process of attuning to the blade. Okay, which uh. What kind of room would you like to stay in? There's squalid, which is seven copper, poor, one silver, modest, basically five zero, stars. Yeah, basically zero to five stars. <laughs> All right. Three stars is eight silver pieces. I'll go with the three. All right. And is it ten, make it into a gold kind of deal? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, ten copper is one silver, ten silver is one gold. Uh, Just 10 gold, 1 platinum. So it'll be 26, 26 gold, be 5 silver. Or are we not going to use like platinum or electrum? I think I'll just sleep in the library. Yeah, well, we could we could use platinum, but electrum would be weird because it's it's like a fraction of... It's halfway in between silver and gold. I was going to go into the library because I don't actually sleep. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's Elves, right. Elves don't sleep, they trance. So I was going to go in for 4 hours and read for the next 4 hours. So. Uh, but... But Elian loves his his uh, loves his mm -hmm. comfort. Mm -hmm. As do I, because I'm from a very from a very wealthy city. Where I'm okay. I have a bedroll. Even okay. even the poorest of refugees had a had a place to stay at night and three square meals a day. You're also going into the library. Okay. So you all cheaply. Some of you pay for your own individual rooms, and some of you decide to sleep in the. In the library. Yeah, I sleep in um, my own room because I don't want people to bother me with this. You gotta yeah. pay pay monies for that. I put it, I put it down in in his expenses for the day. Mm. Okay. In the in the Discord. So in in the morning, um, you all gather and uh, Ek is attuned to his glaive, ready to do a wheel this ridiculous stuff. Um, doesn't it doesn't it too much take like a check? Oh, actually. I would like to, uh, while we're, we'll, before, we'll before we retire, if, if it's not too late, I'd like to, uh, I'd like to, to welcome my friends to, uh, 
friendly game of dice. <laughs> game of dice. I do. I have a dice set in my inventory. Wow. Poker dice. <laughs> dice poker. Oh, some, poker some, dice from some the first wager. Witcher. Everybody would, gets what? It's like five d sixes. I would like to wager. <laughs> I would like to just wager like two copper. I, I take him we'll up see. on the offer. Let's just okay. roll a d. I'm in the. And see what we get. I, I would, no but I'm in the library. Yeah, I went to sleep yeah. in the library. <laughs> Okay, just roll the twenties against finish. each other. Ten. Ten. One. Ten. <laughs> Critical Ten. failure. Critical <laughs> failure. What happens? Let me see. <laughs> Lightning comes out of the table. <laughs> the die. The die. The die. This, is, this won't count, but it'll give you an idea of how how dangerous this the table dice is. is. The dice explodes, destroying the entire end. You stub your toe and lose 10 feet of max speed. <laughs> wow. DC 10 con save at the end of each of your turns ends the slow speed. Wow. I don't know how you would stub your toe rolling dice. So. I, I would have said You that. get angry and you kick your toe against the, <laughs> yeah, the table. I, I, got I got angry. I got angry I would say... roll and I kick the, and I kick the table. That's fair. I would have, I would have said you just like... He rolled. He rolled it, but it like flew off the table and landed in uh, Crom's drink. I would have said that it it rolled, it bounced off the wall, and gave him a black eye. <laughs> All right, L, you owe me two copper now. Yeah, all right, grumble, grumble, grumble. Here's your two copper. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you kindly. Six copper. <laughs> and... when, when did we get copper? We, uh, I had some copper left yeah, over. I had, so. I had some copper left over too. Uh, from the last time we had found gold or found money, we had there yeah. was some copper. Did we? And I'll just and I'll just not, presume not you guys all sold you guys all sold the gems for the gold, right? Yeah, I did. Well, like I kept mine. Because I, I kept I, might, I kept I my one it. gem. I kept okay. both mine because I might need it for uh, spell materials. Okay. Some just spells require material costs. Right. I kept mm -hmm. my gem just because it might. I might, uh, I'd rather, I'd rather, like, hold on. Uh, I don't know. It could be worth more, depending on the location. But I'm trying to bad. save up all my money until I get my book. How much is your book again? Well, the book doesn't cost money, but to add extra spells past the ones I start with, it costs, I think it's like 50 gold or something like that, per okay. spell I add. <laughs> all right. So it's morning. It was a long rest, all your spell slots are recovered. Yeah, baby. Your slots, all your spell slots are recovered. Consider you only have two hit dice, we'll say those are recovered. I'll go over how to use those later, and um, everything's good. You're in pristine condition, ready to go. Where do you do? Uh, yeah. we, got, we gotta check up on EK's at Tudement first. Mm. It should oh, be yeah, good. let's do that. We also gotta check on the here? actual time, because people... Yeah, this is true. This is yeah. 10, it's 10.13 right now. Should finish up. I know, we only got one encounter done because of the... Mm -hmm. well, two, actually. Two. Oh yeah, was it? Yeah, was we it? didn't, well, we we didn't, didn't really didn't start the up, fight. Yeah. We just like, avoided them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, this is true. Well, we skipped right to the better one anyway, so... Yeah. Well, there was another well, we door. Also, we also started we don't know. at 7, so... <laughs> we don't know what could have been through that door. I almost want to say, seven, so. I, don't know. I almost want to say if, like, if we're fine with this group of people, because we're we're all we're all pretty um, available at the night time, mm -hmm. the weekdays, right? Mm, for the most like, part, for the like most part, like when David gets home from work. Technically, I have tomorrow day. off, so I mean, I probably could do it. I I might be hanging out with Stephanie the majority of the day. Yeah, um, like Tuesdays and Fridays, I'm gone. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Those are the so days. I'm trying to think. So we won't be able to do it tomorrow. This That's Thursday fine. we can't do. We have something planned for 14. Yep. Okay. Well, we can probably go a little bit longer if you want, at least to role play whatever you guys are going to do next. Mm -hmm. Uh, well, next we're just going to decide where to go. So we'll leave that for next. We'll leave time. that for yeah. Fair enough. You want to play Helldivers for a round or two? No. Sure. Why? <laughs> for fun. Well, you mean, why, why not? I'm going to sleep. Yeah, that's why. Oh. <laughs>
It's not that late. It's not. But these guys have class again. Oh yeah. I, I don't yet until next Monday. Come on, guys. I I went I went to bed at like two I, in the morning. Had to wake up. At <laughs> That was by choice, though, so... I took a nap. I'm good to go, man. <laughs> I just gotta be up, uh... 